Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Heavy Tesla, and tonight we're continuing the story of Silent Hill 3. This should be the last episode that was planned, but, um, you know, <laughs> anything can go wrong. Hopefully it won't. We have a few things to do. Kind of, relatively speaking. Uh, but I'm hoping to finish this story tonight and on Friday to start Silent Hill 4, which I've said many times I somehow like more than Silent Hill 3 in a lot of ways, though I always um, also state that I adored this game and so Silent Hill 3 in so many ways, but then again, some things in the story really bother me. I've talked about that too many times so let's just go on uh flashlight off and what do i have here a katana is that smart probably because woohoo that's not good leonard ate a lot of shells so did the missionary got some of these that i've never used here i honestly i'm scared to <laughs> uh handgun bullets uh, yeah i'm just gonna run through this part fuck it scary shit's about to unfold so Better save some ammo. Though I'm hoping I can find some as well. I'm running very slowly. Because I have the bulletproof vest on. Which should mitigate some damage. But uh, it's not perfect. Okay. This area should be packed with enemies. Yep. They are blind though. So as long as I don't disturb them. I should be okay. So as long as I have the flashlight off. I should be able to sneak by. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I'm gonna need the flashlight just to figure out where the stairs are. I'm gonna hope over here. Oh, yeah, there's no stairs yet, right? No, there they are. Just keep climbing up. Should be okay. Have I passed him? Oh, boy, I hope so. I don't like pendulums at all. They're really unfairly hard enemies. Oh yeah, we've picked this up. So the thing that's different from the dream at the intro is this. This happened. Roller coaster key. This was in a cookie jar. I always dreamed that I have one of these. Because roller coasters. Tag says mountain coaster. Okay, so we'll use it there. Unlike James, she can do it with the flashlight off. Oh, look. there. Oh, no. Wow, what is wrong with that picture? What is this? I feel like I'd catch something nasty if I touched it. I really better not mess with it. It's not that I especially want to. I guess it could be someone's leg. And that's what she ends on. <laughs> so this is different. This must be some gadget to control a roller coaster. I don't know how to make it work though. There's a power switch on the left hand side. Uh, yeah, that's the one we need. Is that a... Oh god, okay. they're not there. Control panel, left on, turn it off. Yep. And that's how we change the outcome of the dream. Anything here? Yeah. She won't pick up the items without the uh, without the light, though. And we might have missed something down there, but I think what we would have lost would be far worse. Wait, where's the gate? This here? This little tiny gate here? Hold on, man. I'm just just out of curiosity. The game's now confused. You're not supposed to go back. Yeah, I wanted to re see if we can read that paper, but never mind. Okay, as soon as we pass here, that's the barrier that will stop them from coming back. So this time, unlike in the dream, I'm not gonna get uh, run over by our roller coaster train, or at least not as soon, I think. Oh, should hear some terrible sounds. But, uh, yeah, that's always scary. Okay, no, no, slowly walk forward. Yes, bravely. That's right, bravely forward. That's a game too, Heather. You should try it out. Maybe pick up some tricks from there. There we go. All right. It'll switch on it anyway, but it changes so that you don't actually die or something. I don't know. See, that's this kind of stuff that... 
It's not Chucky 3, so not the same kind of amusement park ending. But at the same time, yes. Here we go. Mary. Mary sing Mary. What lie? That Heather was kidnapped. Oh. But it's true. She was originally one of us. That man, Harry Mason, stole her away and kept her hidden from us. Yeah, but she says she was happy. She was brainwashed by him. Deceived. Because her true self had not yet awoken. She carries God within her. <laughs> when Alessa, mother of God, oh boy, poor Alessa. Yeah, what's going to happen? She will usher in the eternal paradise. What kind of place is that? A place with no pain, no hunger, no sickness, no old age. There will be no greed or war. And all will live by God's grace alone. Woo! This, <laughs> no, that, no nothing. I love this, uh, Douglas. For castrated sheep, maybe. Sounds pretty boring. I mean, compared to the HD uh, master, Douglas. This voice more sounds like the guy he's representing. You're going to kill me. Is it really so easy for you? Why are you hypocrite? I've done it before. Oh. Then I truly do pity you. No God salvation for you. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Luckily, this time, I fell on a kiosk, and uh, somehow that saved me. <laughs> Logic. The sound design. Oh, so good. <clears throat> I keep saying that for Silent Hill games, but it's true. And that will kill me one day. Oh, uh, what, uh, that when the controller turns off like that, I don't, I'm enjoying a cutscene, then that happens, scares the sh living shit out of me. That happened with two bosses already in this SH3 run, so, not really good. At least this is kind of a safe area, so I can run around and explore a bit, maybe find something, game. <gasps> okay, yeah, I think that's gonna be... Is it here though? Popcorn wagon. Nothing very interesting about it. But this popcorn doesn't look right. I don't think I'll be having any. But then again, I wouldn't need anything else here either. Thanks for the raid, John. Appreciate it. Hope you uh, have an actual good rest today, buddy. Thank you. I keep saying that, yeah. I'm a very <laughs> stern anti-tiredness. Proposener? I don't know. I'm trying to think of fancy words to sound smart here. Hello, hello, welcome. Welcome to the stream, everyone. We're in a safe area. Well, golly, you just missed Mary Elizabeth's solo choir. It was beautifully touching while uh, Douglas and... Uh, What's-her-face, Claudia, were talking? Hi, comrade. I mean, zdravo, comrade. <laughs> Soon enough, I will get to fly away on the wings of imagination. Wow, sounds like an 80s... Sounds like an 80s uh, music video. MTV and shit. There's a ticket booth, but there's nothing unusual about it. Oh, you're not gonna comment on that one, okay? A weird choices. What is this? Wall of flesh? Not gonna comment on that either. Okay. Uh, I guess she's not really entertained. 
Oh, it's nothing written. It's probably supposed to have the ride's wait time on it or something. I think I know what's coming next. Is it, though? Is it? Is this the thing? I forgot about that part. Oh, God. Yep. Borley Haunted Mansion. Yes, I think... Actually, even this voice is better. This narrator we're about to hear is better in this version than in the... It's the remaster version. Sorry. Dump a bucket of water on my head while I still <laughs> sit half naked in a chair. That was the 80s, right? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So, uh, <laughs> why not? Should work. Oh, damn. Kind of saved too early last time, I guess. Borley Haunted Mansion. But no other comments? Your choices are weird, Heather. I will tell you that much, girl. Ooh, are you gonna comment on that? Nope. Just a checkpoint. Okay. Then. No, not don't, don't enter the mansion yet. We want to see the spooky stuff later. Can you even get into this thing? Yeah, it should be. I'm expecting some supplies. Supplies! Very nice. I just love look at it, looking at mansions and buildings. Okay. No supplies. Well, okay, game. I can go with a katana alone. Not that I'll need anything here. This is gonna be... Oh, my God. The red chasing light. Yeah, okay. So, um... Take this off. And I'm pretty sure you can take this off as well. Just forget, remember to put it um, put it on afterwards, because that there should be a dog afterwards. All right, I'm I'm glad you jumped in at the right moment, Welcome Johnny boy. To the Borley Haunted Mansion. We're so glad you came. Please come inside and look around. When you feel you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. Can I can I go through the door now? <laughs> nice timing then. Very good timing. Oh. Oh yeah. Do you hear those voices? Should be a good angle here. The family of four was sliced into bloody pieces in this room. the cries of the That's it. The murderer was caught. I think that's the angle. I wanted to scare you, that's all. Can look around. The truth is, only one person died. By suicide. <laughs> this crap freaked me out when I was young. Or is it? Yeah. <laughs> no comments on that, Heather. Like, seriously, you commented on the stupidest things, you're not gonna comment on this. So that whole family murder thing was just made up. There we go. But if that's true, how do you explain all the blood in this room? Could it be that the guy who committed suicide really did kill a bunch of people? Or how could it... Oh, how could I be so stupid? This is a haunted mansion. Of course it's all made up. What was I thinking anyway? Ha ha ha. Yeah, in Silent Hill. But it's fake. But if it's fake, why does it smell, smell like real blood? Okay, yeah. Additional comment. So that's why I like to touch everything with Heather. She has the be best comments in the series. The clock isn't working. I don't know if it's broken or if it, or if it's just for decoration. Maybe it's a puzzle inside. Wink, wink. Help! Help! Oh yeah, the angles. You can't exit now, right? Yep. Oh, Danny. A quiet young man, but quite friendly, as you can see. He it's great that they even bother giving so much dialogue for the... His hometown is... Littlest of things in this game? Yeah. Came here after first losing his way. Ooh. Oh, maybe you might know. Where is the path to heaven? 
Hey, Danny. How's it hanging, bro? Jeez, it's real. This is a real dead body hanging here. I don't think they meant for this to be part of their attractions. Quotes. Who would have done this? I mean, the hanging man is blocking the way. It's all rotten and disgusting and I don't want to get any closer to it. Whoever it was, I feel sorry for them. So, really, that's your issue after everything. What about that guy? You're not going to comment on him? That doll just sitting in a chair. Is Danny the doll or is Danny that hanging thing? Oh well, whatever. No biggie. Yeah, <laughs> I love her. Broken Earth Decoration. Yes. Fun fact. I lived two hours away from New Orleans, Louisiana when this game came out. What's in New Orleans? What did I miss? The bookshelves are crammed with books. But they are probably all just fake anyway. Oh, because he came from Orleans. Yep. Yep. I just. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. This mansion is quite old. Additional Please scare. Watch your step. Oh, yeah. Sometimes the floor suddenly gives way. And beneath the floor, there's nothing. There's a trick to this part. I think you can die here. You don't have to. Like, if you go into aiming stance or something, you're smaller. Small enough that you can pass. <clears throat> I think this is the the bit. Nothing there. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. This place is just falling apart. Nope, that's the not it. <clears throat> is broken, you see. It wasn't supposed to stop there, I assure you. Exit. See you next time. <laughs> I, I I just think of Claptrap from Borderlands. See you next time. Okay. There's the exit. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your tour. Please come da, back comrade. anytime. Or if you'd prefer, <laughs> we could come and visit you instead. Uh, no thank you. Is there something if you stay here? I can remember there was an additional dialogue or something. I, like, I think I like if you stay too long, he says something. Ooh, spooky! And here comes the actual hard part. Fuck, 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 I'll fuck this up. Come on, don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. It's so easy to die here. Oh, shit, son. Shit, is that the exit? Nope. Ah! All oh, the thing. Oh, man. I always die on this part. I even took off my bulletproof vest and my katana to be lighter, even though they're in my pocket somehow. Oh. Yeah. I don't have it memorized. Continue, fair and square. One death, let it be the last death in this game, in this run. One death per Silent Hill. I'm, I'm okay with that. Even though that one in the second... Oh, you fucker! That's your checkpoint? So you don't, it doesn't work in like Silent, like in Silent Hill 2 where you touch the checkpoints and you actually, um, it actually saves for you. It doesn't save, but it returns you there. No, we got to start this shit again. Well, I'm still not going to load the save. Keeping it fair. Turn off the lights. Why did you turn off the lights? Are you fucking, I don't know why I did that. There was no point in that. Gee, okay. Who? That was close. Just run blindly. They're blinder than you are. What are you doing there, boy? Shouldn't be there. On the ground. With the bloody west west vest. She runs like... I don't know. Like it's, She's got a pocket full of rocks. There's a mole there. There's a katana. There's so many things. But yeah, that's gonna be the problem. Okay, we've seen the comments here. So is she gonna say anything else about the leg? Okay, that's the same. Could be someone's leg, okay. I'm really concerned about that. Yeah, I didn't save. I, I, I tend to play these games to save <laughs> at the end of each session. Um, and it worked so far, well so far. Because in both Silent Hill 1 and 2, 
you kind of have a checkpoint and two it's very obvious as soon as you touch the save point you don't have to save if you die it'll just return you to that point so you don't have to keep saving but uh, apparently that doesn't work in this one so yeah we can take these things off right away uh, weapon unequip items unequip and just like stroll out of here kind of now she's gonna move differently so better not push her off the track she does turn more naturally i mean besides walking more naturally woo, without the vest okay we can listen to mary elizabeth one more time why not <clears throat> It's like I've seen this somewhere before. All right, shit. Nice. <laughs> nice. Then you will, John. <laughs> I hired you to find the girl, and you perform serviceably. What is it now? You lied to me about Heather, lady. I don't like being used. Lie? What lie? That Heather was kidnapped. No new Dax men this time. True. But we can make a uh, Douglas in underwear though. <laughs> what a weird flashback. <laughs> yeah. But she says she was happy. Who is this guy? Nice to see you, Yoda. Thanks for dropping by. Mother of God, indeed. <laughs> so I gotta run through that smarter. And I know the second part will be harder, so... Uh, if I die again, I will make a save. I promise. Because that house, that, that red light part, has always been so hard for me. <laughs> Dude, what a wor version. So on this channel, on this channel, when we say, when we want to say Silent Hill age... <laughs> Rebaster, you gotta gag. You can't just say it without gagging. So, this is the PS2 version. <laughs> oh boy. You're going to kill me. Oh no, poor me. Oh. <laughs> Such a hypocrite. I mean, Claudia, not not Douglas. Douglas is awesome. Douglas is good people. And this voice set is the best, the best. I don't care that the new new actors are more real. It's it's like refilming Twin Peaks and saying, you know what, guys, you all act awkward. Like this is just act like humans. No. no. <laughs> Change it later. Change what later? The voice? If you are asking about the voice, yeah, the aged rebaster has... So in Silent Hill, yeah, in Silent Hill 2 and the HD rebaster, there's... um. Okay, there's no enemies here. There's... In Silent Hill 2, you can choose the old and the new voices. And in 3, you can't. It's only, it's only the new... Uh, yeah, it's only the new uh, cast, and they don't fit. They just, I'm sorry, uh, they're all uh, great actors. Troy Baker, um, just l one thing. Mary Elizabeth voices Mary from Silent Hill 2, right? And she didn't even want to do that. I'm talking about the new new voice cast. Uh, and she, even she was like, that's not, I, sh I shouldn't do that. Mary has, you know, a soft voice, Mary Shepard. Sunderland has a soft voice. She's a you know gentle person, but uh, Mary Elizabeth, on the other hand, has a very deep voice, which is what's older, right? That's that's just how she sings. And somehow someone decided to put her as a. Uh, I think she was pressured by the theme as Mary, and it just sounds 
awkward hearing um, Troy Baker and um, sorry, sorry narrator, gotta zip through this. He's gonna be angry for that. Nope, because I left. Okay, now this we gotta sit through, because this is locked. Troy Baker and Mary Elizabeth as James and Mary, it's just... It sounds like a fan dub, I don't know. Even though they're pro actors, they just don't fit. They sound too normal for Silent Hill. I, I, I don't know, you gotta hear it, but don't hear it. So, just trust me. <laughs> Talk about Danny. Come on. I don't know if you get anything for checking everything. I just like doing it. Okay. <clears throat> yes, it'll give in. I will. Uh, actually, no. That's on another difficulty or another game. The mechanism is broken. You see, it wasn't supposed to stop there. This is a lot nicer when you do it slow and you know everything, but uh. I'm not confident in my red light escaping skills, so uh, I rushed through it the second time. No, leave me alone. You'll give me cooties. Okay, run and be smart about left, right, left, uh, right, right, left. Ignore the door, run up the stairs, other door. Keep running. Oh, my nose itches right now. No. Keep running and don't die here either. Oh, it's too close. Too close. That's unfair. Does it at least slow on curves like I do on like turns? Oh, don't trick me again. Come on. You can do this. You can left. It's all repeating. It's all deja vu. It's all. Oh, that's the door again. And then here. Is it done? Is it over? Oh, it's over, isn't it? Or is it? Fuck, turn that off. Go back in. Nope. Now you're fucked. That sounds like a closer. Uh yeah. What what do we have here? Let me relax with a little. Hmm. That's kinda true, yeah. That's kinda true, Yoda, cause uh I, for me, he like exploded with Bioshock Infinite, and uh, he was also in Saints Row at least four, if not three and four. And he was he was Snow Villiers in uh, Final Fantasy Thirteen, just some of the like bigger ones. And yeah, you're right, he is everywhere now. But um, that's good and bad. So I have ah uh, no no closer can also punch me. Oh, we're in the park now, are we? Oh, that's lovely. Do I go there? Do I try to explore? I'll be brave and explore. Because I'm fucking crazy and I love items. So just run. Oh shit, if he hits me with without the vest on, I am so royally screwed. Okay, no. Oh! There's no items here. You've been brave. You can go on. Explorers everywhere will be proud of you. Me. Oh, and I don't know where to go now. Okay, lights off. Whoo! No wheelchairs. You mean the Sand Hill 4 wheelchairs? What did, What are you looking at? Is that a... Oh, that's a doggy. Okay, yeah. You know what? I'll have to kill the doggy. Um, there might be some items here and this... Oh, I gotta fight Alessa too. God damn it. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna do this. Actually, no. If I... If I... <laughs> Zombie taught me a trick, which I never used for some reason. So whoop and just wait for them yeah and then just cut him <clears throat> yeah that should that should work see like lamb to the slaughter and i didn't put the oh i didn't put the oh shit 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 yep i got punched hard i didn't put the vest on i deserve that i deserve that so hard there's a closer heal here as well so uh item hunt no god damn it did you just bite me like, after jumping, I had to turn the light on. I had to look for the items. That's how I die in these games. That's the number one reason. It's always the item hunt. 
And I want to see the hairy notes and... Oh, will I? Oh god, I'll have to kill them because there's a puzzle in this room. Then, uh... They're both here, kind of. Oh, okay. I'm a little nervous now. I botched this. But I can fix it. Yeah, I can definitely fix it. First, closer is not gonna, gonna come all the uh, way here. Second, I got this suit. Third, I got doggy treats. Uh, I gotta wait for him to pass. I should strafe, actually. Yeah, and then do it here. I hate these dogs. I suck fighting against them. And then put another doggy treat, because doggies like to eat, right? No, not me, the treat! My god, not the leg! That's my walking leg, you ass! Now I have to use some drugs. It's really not nice of you, doggy. Okay, I have accumulated enough, enough of drugs that I can bash this. Ah, you fucker! Okay, you know what? You're not worthy the katana. I hate the dog so much. I should have just walked in and killed him. No! I want to save ammo. I want to be Mr. Perfect. Is he dead? I can't see. He's dead, okay. Wasted ammo, but I forgive myself. And then, shotgun the douche. He doesn't eat meat though, so... Uh, nice treat! One, two, and four. Yeah, I keep saying, I always say three is my least favorite Silent Hill. I love four more than three, honestly. Oh yeah, we have items there too. Oh, that was easy. Now I gotta cut his balls and then move out of the way. And I and I sta stood right where he can get me the, the easiest. Oh, I killed him with one shotgun and... Okay, that wasn't so bad. Take that! Uh, Try it in the balls. Yeah, that's just two enemies. Why did I panic? Because I just can't gotta get accustomed to the new game again. Okay. No ticket boot comments. That's one treat that you didn't eat. You lousy mutt. Honestly, ugh, I love the the atmosphere of this game. I have some, like... Wait, why did I go through that? Shouldn't that be... There wasn't... There was no puzzle here, was there? There should be a puzzle here with... The, that's not the... Okay, yeah, that's the other door. I see, I see. Okay, we're gonna go get that chain. Oh, jeez, what's wrong with me? This column here, wouldn't that work? Wouldn't work, you gotta... Oh, yeah. I should have checked this first. The, the door doesn't seem locked, but I can't open it. Could it be rusted? I'm not strong enough to budget, no matter how much I pull. There's gotta be a way. I have to try. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da, try swing rocket. Um, I don't know. Sun Hill Three has some weird, very weird. You're not gonna. Oh, you can't even enter that yet. No, it's gonna open once I find the chain. Yep. Um, the story and the lack of endings really bug me in Three. Honestly, uh, that and. Oh shit. Oh shit, son. There's a ton of them. Is there something? Are you gonna. No, nothing to pick up? No, fuck this place then. Woo! Any enemies here? Oh wait, she's looking at something. Over there. Over yonder. Are you looking at the gate you just passed through? Oh, you dumb dumb. There we go. Shotgun shells and a health drink. Nothing gained, nothing lost. Except for some dignity, but that's another thing. Okay, uh, this is where the chain will be, I'm pretty sure. You gonna comment on that? No? Okay. There's the chain. Let's ignore it for now. Should be like some kind of a flashback or something. Oh yeah, the file. It's a flyer for some kind of musical for kids. It looks like they did it on this stage. Okay, no. <laughs> that's wrongly put. This place is empty now, but I'll bet it was packed that day. Yes, I bet. Yes, sirree. I got a red shoe. Oh, yeah, we gotta get those, too. So, they were doing Cinderella, I guess? Nothing creepy. Oh, yeah, is this the first note from Dad? No, popcorn wagon. We're gonna find notes from Harry. So, the save points that Harry uses in... Uh, in Silent Hill 1, 
They're like notepads. You find them here, the ones where you cross paths where he was. Even though they're 17 years old, you can read them. And, um, yeah, I don't have that one. I'm sorry, Yoda. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, there's more. It's just the flyers. None of them is readable. Okay, let's get that chain then. Uh, you can find him here and actually read what he wrote. I love that. I love details like that. How do you... Oh yeah, you can carry it over. Yeah, like... <laughs> I was like, how? When? When did you infiltrate? Okay. So there's nothing interesting here. Is this interesting? It's about Huey the horse. One of the... Par okay, yeah, we're gonna have to kill Huey. One of the park's mascots. But that's a lot of information that I really don't need right now. Yeah, we're gonna be slicing up some horses because... Silent Hill? What about K Pussy the K Kitty or whatever? It's about Kathy the Kitty, one of the park's mascots. But that's a lot of information that I really don't need right now. Well, if you learned about them a little, you would know a lot. Hello, Sirico. Nice to see you. Thanks for dropping by. Sorry, I don't know who was already there. I, I gave a massive welcome. Don the Duck. You mean... Donald the Duck? One of the park's mascots. But that's a lot of information that I really don't need right now. You could have just changed those. Okay, there's nothing interesting here, I guess. Let's, uh, let's uh, just go. Because we don't have the map to this area. I hate places without maps. Shit, 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 shit. Ow, ow. Stung, ow. No, don't shoot the pendulums. It'll just get him angrier. Just fuck those bastards. <laughs> Thanks for the host, Sirico. Appreciate it. And yeah, I hope, I think it's Sirico. If I'm mispronouncing that, please let me know. Oh, no, no, no. Allow. Yes, allow. Add, add permitted term, pussy. <laughs> Yes, yes, we can say pussy here. We're all grown men. Grown ass people saying pussy. We're little kittens. I don't know why I change accents for certain things. I just love accents. Oh yeah, that's that should be in the items, right? Chain. Yeah, that's not items. That's why it's not there. Simple. Chain. It has hooks on both ends. Looks pretty sturdy anyway. Well, okay. Let's chain this, motherfucker. I attach the chain to the column. This half is fine, better do something with the other half, though. Well, <laughs> wouldn't you know it, Heather? If you do it here as well, some magical things are about to happen. Attach the chain to the door handle. Some magical things are about to happen. And the door magically opened, yeah. I'm not gonna question that, just gonna take my ammo. Be grateful to the gods of Sun Hill. Ooh. There's a PA system. Attention, everyone. The antidote has been created for the Silent Hill virus. Switch is off. Turn on the switch. Yes. Yes, I will. Well, we got Pussy the Kitty and we got Heather, who's been officially titled um, Heather the, the Penis Killer. So, uh, damn, it must be broken. So, uh, quite a crew we're assembling here. Not gonna comment on any of that. So stingy with the comments. Swing rocket, yeah, we've seen that. I just wanna check if there's some ammo, maybe some items here, maybe, maybe. There's no time to start playing around with this stuff like kids. But, okay. Sure, ma'am. There's no ammo here. She would've looked. You're looking that way, why? You wanna comment on that, do you? That's all you wanna do. Don't wanna pick up anything. Chain's broken. Who cares? I don't need it anymore. <gasps> You're such a user, Heather. Okay, lights off. I think this is the bit where we... The plot thickens. Yep. Here we go. Dulgus. Oh, my tea's almost done. How did Claudia do that? Like, whoosh. I pushed thee away with the power of Silent Hill. Yeah, who are you gonna call? <laughs> She's been through so much and she learned nothing. You oh, you old fool. Aw, you did that for me. Like Aw. 
Sorry. You can do that for me. I, she said it. I, I forgot. But there we go. What like what will I do if you die? Oh, poor old me. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? <laughs> possible Syracle, possible she broke it. Ghostbusters. You think so? Nah, I don't have enough points. I've been. I'm. I reset my saves for all Silent Hill games. Uh, my 12 to 15 year old saves, just so we could get the true, like you know, uncensored, actually censored intro in Silent Hill One and Two, that actually get uncensored once you beat them. All that stuff. I I, I still back up my old saves on the hard drive on the console, but uh. UFO Revenge, yeah. Always wanted to be him. Did Douglas know that Eternal Affairs were on to him? Possible. I mean, maybe they made a deal with Claudia. Uh, what did we talk about again? You said nobody was going to cry for you. Dead people don't cry. So it's good, John. You don't have to apologize, man. Oh, you. I'm gonna do to you what Heather just did to Douglas. Oh, you. You didn't have to do that for me. <laughs> Maybe because his pop was a penniless good for nothing. I always read penisless. No. That's just my brain. And that's why he's immune to Heather. That would make all of the sense if Heather is the penis killer and he's penisless. Sorry. Mystery solved. You're the son I never had. Hey, but you just said you had a son. Yeah, but he's the son I never had. You stay here and I'll be back when it's over. Sure, rest here. It's perfectly safe with pendulums, closers, split head, double heads, what they're called, double head dogs. Uh, what else do we have here? Some parasites, probably. Uh, my old self, very evil. So, uh, yeah. You're gonna be fine, Douglas. Just wait there. <laughs> oh, you. Revenge ending isn't worth the hassle. No, just because. Just because I would like to get them all and like stream all. The, I'm going through all the Silent Hill games, right? And I'm gonna go through all of them multiple times for all the endings. I'm doing that with RE games as well. Anything that has multiple endings that's not Chrono Cross. Because even though it's my favorite game ever, that's 50 fucking something endings. That's like a lifetime of just that game. <laughs> she felt the gun on her back. The crosshairs. That he, he's aiming like this. So he's literally aiming. Not aiming even like this. He's kind of doing like... Like kids shooting. Like pew pew. <laughs> Oh yeah, controller turned off. I gotta remember that once the last star fight starts, or I'm fucking fucked. Oh yeah, we have this image here. The rabbit's all smashed up. This car seems pretty heavy. What happened to the person inside? The rabbit's all smashed up. This okay, yeah, it's the same. This is the ticket stand for the teacup ride. It's pretty unremarkable. There's pretty much nothing here, so I'm gonna just go back here and check this corner here. There's a dead body inside this box thing. There's nothing interesting here. She's numb. She's officially numb. She doesn't give a shit. Like, dead body. Pfft, nothing interesting. I've seen like 20 by now. 20, 50. I don't know. Numb bodies. Dead bodies. What, whatever the kind you want. Wanna talk to me, Dougie? Dougie? Oh, he wants to talk. Picking up some voice work. <gasps> yes, you should, John. You fucking should. You have excellent voice for that. Totally approve. And I'm pretty sure everybody else approves. The problem with older guys, huh? It's practice, like most things. I'm sure. I, I, I know. <laughs> I do video and audio editing. And you see people change over... A span of like, not a year, like a few 
a month or two is enough to like because you find out what works for you as you go as well you know that's excellent that's i i really wish you become like a big you i want you to become the next like drag ball xyzw uh announcer next time on dragon ball but with john voice i better not don't have time for fun and games doesn't look like there's anything useful in there anyway there's a teacup ride what's wrong with you heather you've been possessed that's it you've been possessed <laughs> is that no wait is that his name no that's not him wait isn't isn't Matt isn't matthew mercier mercer mercier the guy who voiced Leon in one of the Resident Evil games? I don't know. Huh. I actually don't know the guy's name. I watched Dragon Ball in Serbia and I just recently started rewatching it. So that was like 20 years ago. Just recently started rewatching it in English. Well, first Japanese, then English with Sasha. And. Uh, I don't know where I came from. I'm just talking and not doing anything. I came from there, I'm pretty sure. No dad's notes here. I'm gonna have to go around uh, out of here. I don't know why I'm using this voice. I somehow like it. Um, so 20 years ago in Serbian and down now in, in, in English, and I love it a lot, a lot. So that's that's the same guy. Holy shit! How did I miss that? I like pride myself in. Oh, you blind fuck! Me, not her. This is my fault. I pride myself in like being, like, you know. Knowing the voice actors and the actors and be like, "Ooh, that's that voice. I know him from there or here. I was so happy to hear that uh, when I recognized uh, Mary Elizabeth's voice in Alex Wesker. Ho, ho, ho. Oh. All right, we have this part too. Oh, well, I'm not fighting Alessa soon. Yeah, um, the way I'm doing, the way I'm playing this. I, I <laughs> We might not kill God tonight after all, but I'll try. I promise I'll try. You know what? Stop running like that. It's annoying. You just start running like a person. Ooh, let's see that. Red shoe. One shoe, blood red. It was above the stage. It's too small for me to wear, not that I want to. Why did you check then? Why did you check if you don't want to wear it? What are you looking at? Is that the gate? You're looking at the fucking gate. Oh my God, Heather, what am I going to do with you? Just turn for the items. Doors only when we're late somewhere. Mary Elizabeth sounds like a freaking angel. I would love to have that woman whisper sweet nothings in my ear. Well, yes. Yes, John. Ooh, we found a bookie. Not a bookie, a book. <laughs> not, not a person that's a bookie. Client, Claudia Wolf. Requests searching for then infant Alessa Gillespie. Kidnapped by a man named Harry Mason. No word from police. Kidnap location unknown. Old Sun Hill newspaper article. Alessa Gillespie, 7, dead in fire. Links to current case to be investigated. Priority low. Using Elias, Heather. Neighbors do not know real name. What is she hiding? I don't know why she suddenly went all Shatner, but she apparently did, so just go with it. I got Douglas's notebook. Oh, I did. I did get Douglas's notebook. I got a doll head. Uh, I also got... Uh, did I get something here? No, it's a crystal ball. Okay. Let's look around. Crystal ball and crystal meth. Nothing to comment on. There's a silver cup and candlestick on the table. It looks like it has some meaning, but I really don't know what that is right now. I'm gonna say more. There's a silver cup. But yeah, no, she's not gonna. Okay, what about the save point? Uh, this symbol usually looks unnatural and weird, but here it sort of seems to fit. It still makes me feel creepy though, like someone peeking into my brain. She's this is kind of between <laughs> Shatner and uh, Johnny Depp as uh, Hunter S. Thompson in Fear and Loathing of in Las Vegas. I don't know. I kind of hear both. But that's just me talking about my voice. What do you think, dear audience? Please share your opinions with me. Hmm, it's time to put this on. Gonna fight myself. Well, actually, I'm gonna put some shoes and doll face? Doll head? Doll head. It'd be cute enough on a normal doll, but just a head, downright creepy. Okay. Max Payne. Max Payne. You want me to do Max Payne voice? I don't know if I can. 
he would speak like this. He, he, I don't know, between Max Payne and Alan Wake, I, I don't know how I would read things. Max Payne would be more kind of, you know, edgy and uh, this woman taught me things that I cannot unteach myself. Oh, hello, ladies. Snow White and uh, Cinderella. So, we know what to do with them, but uh, no number handle. Monotone and self-narrate everything you do. Yeah, Alan Wake more like. The door was shut. Uh, Alan Wake would go like, the door was shut tight and I won't budge, and it wouldn't budge, no matter how hard I pushed. I had to turn around and look around. I looked at something, but I had no comment about it. Yet, I kept looking, because I felt there was something on the floor. I looked at the floor and found these pictures. There were photos on the ground. What were they? As the screen faded to load the better looking pictures than the rest of my world, I saw a shadow with a slipper and another shadow with a mask. What could this mean? <laughs> Are these photos, were those photos of those dolls? Cinderella was on the left and Snow White on the right, but something's wrong. Yeah, I never got that something's wrong. Point and click game. <laughs> uh, the Silent Hill Island. Silent Island. I am uh, Heather Winthorp uh, McGoose. I will solve this case. Even if I had to use my red shoe. I put the red shoe at Cinderella's feet. And then I put the doll head before I do that. Is there anything else here that I might have missed? Oh yeah, there are these things in the floor. And I don't know what they are. Are those graves? God knows. Maybe we'll, we'll never find out. Let's put the mask or the baby doll face in. Who's that again? She'll tell me. Snow White's hand. White doll head in her hand. Sure, but what did we achieve with this? Oh, no. Don't defend. Did something plop out there, or did the door open, or something like that? I'm gonna. Get, I forgot. I played Silent Hill 3 the least, so I forgot a lot of this shit. I don't know. I know everything once I see it, but be, before it, you know, comes, I'm like, what the hell shit am I supposed to do next? Was that something? Did it change? No, just my imagination. Yeah. Okay. Didn't just go through the door. Fuck it. It's gonna be some kind of a ride or a bunch of monsters. I'll find out. As I stepped into the dark room, I couldn't see shit, so I turned on the light, even though there could be monsters. My radio wasn't telling me anything, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to risk it. Oh, holy shit! Was that a dinosaur? And somebody was serving drinks to these animals. Okay, this is a dragon. The guy. Oh, dragon. Yeah, that guards the treasure chests. It's just a prop, not scary at all. Really? Are, are you sure? Because this is still. You know where you are. Can we look at his face? His beautiful face. Yeah, zoom in like that. Oh my god, that's a low poly model when you don't expect people to look at your thing. So obvious. Okay, then fuck the dragon. Let's move on. Can we go through the... <gasps> Is there something here? No. She apparently can't go through there, even though she should be able to. I guess the programmers were too lazy to calculate the hitboxes correctly. In this one. <laughs> Oh boy. Ah, uh, he can smell me. You know what? I'm not afraid of you. I'm gonna put this beef jerky and proudly proclaim, dog, I'm gonna cut you. I'm gonna cut you, dog. Ow! I'm gonna cut you double for that, you bitch. Oh, there's pendulums here as well, so... Do I wanna fuck with them? Yes, I do, because my vanity is awful. Uh, uh. Just like overhead swing should kill him. There's no closer, so... Fuck you, dog. That's what you get for biting me. Asshole. I gotta use more drugs, stabilize myself and shit. So we do know there are pendulums here. If we're nice, they shouldn't come. So no items, no. Yeah, just keep them away. Because if you shoot them, they're twice annoying. You just don't shoot pendulums. Nothing interesting here. Okay. Yeah, I keep using that voice. And it's fucking scary here. I swear to God. Oh my God, that's another dog. Let's lure him into the darkness and hopefully he'll eat some of my meat. Wink, wink. Wanna come here, doggy? I got a treat for you. I guess he doesn't... Doesn't trust strangers. <laughs> yeah, double OGs in the house. <laughs> P 
pendulums don't eat meat, right? I'm gonna have to shoot that fucker, because there's a hairy note here I wanna read. And Oh shit, no. I'm in the dark, you can't see me. I'm like CJ, I just hide in the dark and you can't see shit. Right? Right? I do be having CJ powers. No? Okay. Whew, I'm sweating here, actually. I hate pendulums. I, I'll take all the monsters from... 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 Five different sound hills, but not the fucking pendulums. They're so cheap. Get away from me, you freak! Get away from me, you freak! Is that Alisa? Alisa? Alisa! Come here, into the light, doggy. I want me won't be. Oh fuck! He still bit me. You bitch! Go eat the meat. Yeah, go eat the. No, go eat the meat. Yeah, I should strafe. That tricks them, as far as I remember. Eat the meat. Come here. Oh, what a jerk of a dog! You know what? Fuck you, doggy. You know what? I'm gonna shoot you. I'm, I've had it with this. I have a fucking submachine gun. I'm not afraid to use it. I usually save it for the final boss. But I also melee the final boss. So, uh, I did that. I, I think I did it for the... <gasps> yep. There we go. That's good. No! Oh, you fucker. You know what? You deserve this. You deserve this so bad, doggy. Is this still... Get him now, get him while he's down. I won't get to get him while he's down, but I will get him with this. She's blind when the light's off, I forget. There you go. Uh, okay, now it's your time, Pendulum. I'm making this far more complicated than it should be. I just should just breeze through this, but no. I want to read the hairy note. You know what, when I shoot it, it's going to go haywire on my ass, see? Just makes them run... Like, move faster. You know what? I said I'll use this, I'll use it. What? Are you... How are you missing that? How the fuck are you missing that? You're wasting the most valuable ammo in the game. Are you... Nope. That doesn't work for them. Oh, I feel so cheated. Oh, for the love of ass and fuck. Oh, you can hit with that, can you? You fucking asshole, Heather. That make me really angry. I am now angry. I'm gonna cut your head off. Are you... Oh, you can fight back, huh? I can fight back, too. No, no. The other swing, Heather. There, it's dead. This is normal. I'm not even playing on hard. I played this on hard as kid. What the hell? One bullet. You know what? Fuck your one bullet. You cheap bastard. There you go, your one bullet. You happy now? Missed the fucking point blank. How can you do that to me, Heather? How can you do that to me? Equip, like, reload them all. Okay, let's read. This is why I've been doing this. Just because of this. Oh. Just because of this. My dad's notes. I love him so much, I wanted to protect him. You can actually see what he wrote. I love it. Dahlia's the one who said it, said that girl was a demon, said she took my daughter for a sacrifice. But it's not totally believable. I mean, appearances can be deceiving. When I saw that photo in the hospital basement, I thought, that girl looks like Cheryl. Is that why I feel this way? Something's not normal anyway. Nothing good will come out of this, but I just can't think of her as the demon. Is it not my, is it my imagination or do I actually feel sorry for her? Why do I feel like she's looking for someone to help? Cheryl's what's important to me. Everything else can wait until I've gotten her back. There's a date and a signature at the end. It's dated some 17 years earlier and signed by Harry. Dad? Daddy? Is that you, Daddy? Stun gun battery. Stun gun. Does that actually work here? Because I, I, I... It works perfectly in Sound Hill 4, but I remember here it being very bad. Like, awfully bad. I could never stun shit with it. <clears throat> you have to go in their faces and be like, Please, sir, can you stand for a second? I just want to poke you with a stick. More notes to read? No? Oh, God. Oh, dogs. I should have just shot the dog. What am I saving, saving the ammo for? I'm gonna... Katana Alis Alessa, anyway. She's not Alisa. She's Alessa. And, and I could have just ran here! Oh, 
boy. Okay, I'll remember for the next time. That's okay when you don't play a game for like eight years. It's normal. Pretty normal. So lights off. Check the next room. Sounds like there are enemies. Nope. At least not here. First aid kit. Yeah, that's gonna make up for all the damage you did. <clears throat> Anything in the bushes? No green, red herbs, green herbs, uppers, uppers, downers, rappers, screamers, jumpers. What's that? Not gonna comment on that. Is that Valtiel chilling? Is that Valtiel there? I think that's Valtiel. Bro? No, that's just a corpse, maybe. That's not Valtiel. He would twitch and shit, wouldn't he? No, not yet. Want to check if there are some supplies before we go to that horrible, horrible place. As I run very slowly across the fields of red, looking for a comment that will be different than other comments, I found jack shit, therefore I decided to run this way. This way. This way, please. Okay. Happy carousel. Happy carousel, enter. Don't they mean unhappy carousel? Oh, <laughs> that was funny. Okay, yeah, she's not gonna say it again. So, uh... <clears throat> Pardon me, I'm gonna clear. Okay, yeah, yapping does that. When you yap for a long time, it does that to your throat, but we can take it. We're about to mur murder some innocent ponies. So, um, yeah. Gotta find the one with the message. And uh, take this off for now. Remember, put it, put it on immediately after, otherwise you're fucked. There's a message on one of them pinned. This was always so creepy. Yep, that it, there it is. And then I gotta hurry. This horse is the only one not moving. Is it because it was stabbed in the head? Yeah, read the note. No, read the note. You're gonna get me killed. The note, Heather. The note. Oh, for fuck's sake. There's a memo pinned to the horse's side with a huge nail. When 13 th turns count four, you will die from their curse. I wish you to... S if you wish to escape, there is the one way out. To kill before you are killed. You will be saved by the 12th death. Okay, now we kill the horses. Yes, horses go. This horse is alive. Well, alive may not be the word for it. It's no ordinary carousel horse. It's not made of wood or plastic. I don't know, but it's just kind of strange. That's all. Horse is moving. Okay, and now it's not gonna move. No. Just kid it. Yeah, there we go. That one's dead, yeah, as soon as so three swings usually. This horse is moving. I gotta Hydrate? Okay, I don't okay, yeah, I will, sir, sure. This the horse stopped moving. Did it die? Yeah. I can actually drink and kill horses. Oh she's tired. There you go. There you go. It's dead. Gotta make it faster. Why am I so slow? Probably because of all the swinging. One, two. It's all. It's even breathing and everything, and they're all hooked. Oh God! Yeah, that's the thing. That's the first thing I saw about Silent Hill 3. It was the trailers that you get with the PC version of Silent Hill 2, and it starts with a fucking twitching horse, and it lasts uncomfortably long. Like, you're just watching the twitching carousel horse, like, in this. Oh, it's dead. Okay, that was... No, it's not. You lied to me, horsey. Oh, it is dead. Damn it! Wasting time. No. No. Blind. There we go. Eh. That one's dead, too. I guess it's the game's giving me, like, an out. So, these need to die, too. Sorry, horsey. You were dead. It's like it says boo when you kill it. Oh, wet the whistle. I will. I have wet my whistle. Thank you for the reminder, John. Honestly. There we go. Who's dead now, of course? Okay, now it's time to put this on before shit gets really tough. And uh, she's gonna have a gun or something, so better. Yeah, white health at least, if not yellow. Get ready to be fucked. Is she blind in the dark? I'm gonna try that, actually. Is any of them moving? Nope, that should be it. <laughs> you are helpful. Oh, that guy cheated that. 
Am I too late? Am I gonna go back all the way to the mansion? Because I'm not gonna have that. Oh no, it's a less. I think I did it. I'm never too sure. Woo! Yeah, I think I would just drop that if I didn't do it. Drop that and give me 15. I don't know. 15 katana swings is all I can give. <laughs> what was it? Seven minutes, Chris. Seven minutes is all I can spare for you. Here we go. The horses have gone hurdy gurdy. Oh, we're doing the trailer thing. Yeah, this is the trailer shot. Here we go. The trailer and the intro shot. There we go. Yep, we did it. Okay, we can go on. We can resume playing. Like nothing happened. Hello there, other me. What's up? You seem a little red. Are you shy to be on the stream? Don't be. Shit, shit she has a knife. You know what? I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna fucking get her with a katana. Ooh! Ow! Bitch! Come here. You wanna... I'm just gonna swing. Oh, that's stunning. Very nice. Let's turn the camera so we can see what's going on. Yeah, just do this. She'll be dead soon. Now she melts into the ground and comes out with the next weapon, if I remember correct. So no stabbies, just run up to her and get her. I feel so much health in this Silent Hill 3, even with the... I feel like the bulletproof vest should protect me somewhat, but it's doing jack shit. Ow, you just shot me, bitch! Ah, okay, better to whack me with a pistol than actually... Slapped across the face, yeah. There is a defend move in Silent Hill 3. I don't know how to use it. It's not marked from outbreak. It kind of timing is different, so I don't use it. Just give in. Fuck's sake, give in. I have a katana. You cannot beat me. Ow, hit for hit. Okay, I'll take that one. But I will check my health right after this one. Sure. You know what? I think it's time for one of these. Just to make sure she's gonna shoot me because she's sneaky so come on chase after her don't let her escape oh okay i'll take a hit over a shot any day come on bitch it's better to get her behind the back <clears throat> pardon me but with um with the vest oh she did it herself nice very nice of you I can't see shit, Alessa. I can't even turn the camera. Yeah, back shot, bitch. There we go. She's gonna melt in again. Uh, and come out with a shotgun or something. Axe. Stop. Actually, rest. Oh, she's got a pipe. That's better. Ow! Get stunned. That's my... Oh, no, that pipe hurts, you bitch. Well, not as bad as I thought. I hate wasting health. Oh, I hate wasting health so bad. Yeah, back shot. Yeah, she, you set yourself up. Stupid, what now? What now, huh? Who's your mommy, huh? Who's your mommy? Oh, stop blocking. That's... that's. We don't block here. You just fight me. Yeah, there you go. Where are you gonna come out with next? Is that it? No, that can't be it. Yep, she's got a shotgun or an Uzi. It's the fucking Uzi. Oh. Yeah, that's the... Just don't let her shoot and you will be... I don't know how much health that took, but I do have a bulletproof vest, so it should be bulletproof. Oh, Ooh, I would like to read that. Dodging without... Yeah, I do that, actually, Circo. I can't believe I read that while doing this, but all I'm doing is mashing the button. I do do that a lot. Uh, especially, you know, in the streets of Sand Hill or anywhere where you can see shit. I will actually... Ow, where you don't need to turn off the flashlight to dodge. I just... Ow! Okay, I should do that before she does something else. Yeah. 
Smart choice, me. That was actually smart. I have wasted too much health. Can I defend? No, too slow. We'll just bash it out. Come on. Yeah, trick her. Change the tempo. She won't know what hit her. Just give up already! I have the katana. You can't win. And trick her. Ugh. There you go. Oh, she wha you whacked me. You whacked me. You whacked me again. Yeah, in the back. Okay, don't let her shoot you now. That will hurt. She's kind of limping, so... She has a limpic system. Oh, okay, that's not good. I feel hurt. I feel the pain, Heather. Why are you not hitting her? Am I in a, in a very bad angle? Don't let her aim. Come back here, bitch. Oh. You know what? I'm a human. I'm smarter than you by default. So, where are you? Ow! You whacked me. I can't believe you whacked me. And I can't see shit. What is up with this camera angle? Come on, Heather. You can... I think I have to kill her in the time limit. Is that a thing? Yeah, she has to hit me while I hit her somehow. I don't get it. I remember this being a lot easier. There we go. Is it done? Is that the last? Is that the last form? She's dead. Goodbye, sister, or me, or ex me, whatever you were. Nice knowing. Ooh, she left me a message. That's nice. Good sport. It would be better off, better for myself to die. After all, it's nothing to be afraid of. That child, that demon, when I think of the endless pain it will bring when it is birthed, I decided that instead of the suffering and cruelty I endured in that sick room, that I would like to bestow a more gentle and peaceful death on myself. Why do I resist? I never thought of myself as such a fool. Alessa. I guess it's kind of strange for me to call you that since you are me. But you know what? You and I don't think alike, after all. And it's not that I don't remember that sick room either. You gonna say something more about it? Nope. Okay, that was that went swell. Uh, GG, me. Uh, it could have gotten a lot better, but uh, no use crying now. We'll be back here with... Uh, you know what? Keep that on. Unequip that. That could be deadly. And do I use health? It hurts me so, but I will have to at least one. Uh... Okay, for now one. We'll see. Whatever hurts me next, we'll see. Anything to read? Comment on the horsies? No. 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 No ammo to replace mine well we're there that's the final part i will actually get to do this only an hour and a half wow nice okay yeah we'll finish it tonight i was even even in a hurry i could have done the whole horror house normally there we go the second church or just listen to that that's some church You know what's funny is that she actually gets um uh, she actually gets more tired without the oh without the uh bulletproof vest than with it on. Because I think it counts the speed and not the actual weight. So because she runs slower, you can actually run much further. Makes no sense, but yep, that's how it works. Stained by the evils of this world, we hold our sorrows within us. Only you can heal us these, wound, these wounds. Only you can heal us these wounds. Okay, sure, why not? We'll go with it. Each morning, afternoon, evening, and night, we call out your name and pray for the day of the miraculous descent. Oh, that's it. Okay, never mind. Uh, turn the camera and look at the next one.
I give you the undeserved, I give you unreservedly, is that a word? I give to you unreservedly my body and my eternal soul. Whatever darkness may befall me, I will endure with you beside me. Now I've gone still like he kept that voice for some reason, even though I'm trying to be dramatic. As proof of your miraculous power, guide our obedient and willing souls to the road of paradise. O oh Lord, we will not give in to the power of temptation as long as we have you in our hearts. We might just kill little girls and sacrifice them to give birth to you, but ha <laughs> ha! Oh, which church doesn't do that? O oh Lord, save us with your compassion. O oh Lord, shower us with your blessings. O oh Lord, favor us with your abundance. That's some weird graffiti here you got, guys. I mean, not cool at all. Turn around, camera. Don't you be messing with me. That's it, yeah. Whoop. Up we go. Into the church. Oh, I missed the speed. She actually, I keep saying, she runs... She runs more human than the than than both Harry and James combined, but you gotta put that bulletproof vest on, like you you, you know if you want to soak up damage or dodge without it. Yep, yeah. there's something written on the door. This door is the gate which leads to the road to paradise. Embrace the bosom of the Holy Mother. Admit your sins and be forgiven. Eternal tranquility can be yours for only fifty nine ninety nine plus tax. Okay, here we go. Huh? The church. You killed church, you thing killing fucktard. Oh, sister, a quiet. You see, if I tell you, <laughs> you're gonna piss your pants. Not really. He kinda just hinted. He couldn't lead sheep through a gate. The only gate in a fence. I don't know. He sucks. Checkmate, motherfucker. I killed so many penises to get to you, Claudia. You have no idea. The time when all will be forgiven their sins. When the paradise we have long dreamed for will arrive. Oh, the paradise. After the judgment and Fun fact. In Serbian, paradise means tomato. Paradise, but yeah. <laughs> I just... Uh, <laughs> Just imagine she's saying that. The tomato that will lead us. No, the road that will lead us to the tomato. <laughs> Fuck you, Heather. I want Alessa. Oh, I'm deceit. Dear sweet sister. Now she sounds like the girl from Sand Hill movie. Claudia is... How do you lead anything? Like, I can go there and say, Hey, this guy here, he's God. Yeah, Alessa gave birth to him yesterday. You missed it, but he's totally cool, man. He's gonna bring us salvation and all that shit you talked about. She would fall for it. I'm... You know what? I, it just dawned on me. Yeah, this is a good speech. I'll speak after it. Either you learn how to deal with that or you go under. Ooh, vibrations. The baby is kicking. The more angry I get, the more pregnant I get. Hurting? She fucking killed him! <laughs> By killing them all. Just press Control R, R for refresh. What's the deal? Witch. Ooh. It's doing like left, 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 right, left, left, right, left, left. The vibrations. <laughs> So I was gonna say, it's really, um, what was I gonna say? God damn it, did I lose it already? 
She was talking about salvation. There was a speech involved. What is picture number one? Let's start with those. One, origin. I'll remember. Origin. S. That's the next Silent Hill. No, it's not. In the beginning, people had nothing. Their bodies ached and their hearts held nothing but hatred. They fought endlessly, but that never came. They despaired, stuck in the eternal quagmire. Giggity. <laughs> uh, next one is... Number two. Birth. A man offered a serpent to the sun and prayed for salvation. A woman offered a reed to the sun and asked for joy. Serpent just said, what the fuck is wrong with you people? That's not going to help. <laughs> Feeling pity for the sadness that had overrun the earth. God was born from those two people. I mean serpent, I meant sun, yeah. Okay, yeah. No. So this is this is on the soundtrack. You actually... Mary narrates this whole part, and I forgot what's the name of the song, but yeah, she does it. Number three, salvation. God made time and divided it into day and night. God outlined the road to salvation and gave people joy. And God took endless time away from the people. Well, thanks for that. You could have lived forever, but you ruined it. So, which one is the... Do they go, is this going to be number four, or? Ah, I always botch that, because I think they're going to go the same way. No? Okay, we got to go in order. Law and order. Go in order. Creation. God created beings to lead people in obedience to her. The red god, Zuchelbara. The yellow god, Lubzilvit. And many gods and angels. Finally, God set out to recreate paradise, where people would be happy just by being there. So if we have those gods, why do we need another? You make no sense, Sand Hill religion. Promise. But there God's, God's strength ran out, and she collapsed. All the world's people grieved this unfortunate event. All 15 of them, I guess, if it was so long ago. Yet God breathed her last. She returned to the dust, promising to come again. And then, in the next episode of God's life, life of God, faith. So God hasn't been lost. We must offer our prayers and not forget our faith. We wait in hope for the day when the path to paradise will be opened. Opened? Open sesame. Are these open? Will I be able to go back? This is where I need to be. There's no reason to go back to the amusement park. Okay. So that's where we came from. So that's where we need to go. Lock is broken. Broken and not open. How quite. How can it be so broken and not open? Oh, where are the supplies in these benches? Benches be bitches, but they might have supplies on them. Do you? Bitches benches? There's a piano. And... Yeah, this is not eternal darkness. There are no supplies on the, these benches. This is the wrong church. Why do I have the pistol? Oh yeah, she equipped it in the cutscene. That's neat. I will admit that is neat. Before we continue, let's check out the Eagle of Night tarot card. Somehow I remember this stained glass. It shows God and the man and the woman who birthed her. God and the man and woman who birded her. Sounds like a Carl Perkins song. I used to come to this chapel all the time when I was a little girl. I came to worship God and to ask for my prayers to be answered. But it wasn't exactly me. It was actually Alessa when she was a little girl. But anyway, none of my prayers were ever answered. That's because you still didn't give birth to her, doofus. Nothing here. Yeah, this is... This church is underwhelming. No no drugs, no... Can I play the piano at least? There's nothing I can do with the organ. <laughs> organ, yeah, that's not a piano. I don't know how to play anyway. We just try, just like go... Just like, just like people in Resident Evil, they try. They don't have to know how to play. Oh, you're not gonna comment on that? No, never mind. So, um, if I die here, I go back all the way to before the haunted house. Why do I do this? Because I hate myself somewhere deep inside, obviously. 
Oh, yeah. I forgot what this changes. It does change points, though. Oh, that's the map, yeah. The map that she drew as a kid. Yeah, we're gonna have us a confession now. Chapel. It's got a church map. So, little Alessa drew a church map, but, uh... Wait, which one do I enter to conf do the confession thingy? Uh, down there. I have the feeling that there's someone on the other side of the door. But the door is shut tight and I can't open it no matter how hard I try. I think I need not forget her. I can't remember what the difference is. Like I'm no one to forget her. Do we forget her? You know what, guys? You decide. Should we forget, for, forget her? Forgive her? Should we forgive the woman? Who might or not might not be Dahlia. I think we shouldn't, but there yeah, she's crying. Cult scriptures, they look don't look worth reading. Okay, yeah, I agree with that. Who's that guy over there? Doesn't doesn't matter, I guess. Okay, let's talk to uh, the woman. She's just called the like the praying woman or something. Could be Dahlia. So she's just called a confessor. Allow me to Actually, it's one of those that doesn't matter because whatever you choose, it's a, it's the wrong choice. If you, if I remember correctly, if you do forgive her, you sh you have no right to forgive her. Like who the fuck are you to forgive forgive her? If you don't forgive her, it's sadder. I I don't know. I'm bad at decisions. <laughs> Not decisions, decisions though, but real life decisions, yeah. Gaming decisions, yeah. I mean, it's hard for me to decide. I'm not gonna do it this time. I'm gonna go do it for the bad ending where I'm gonna be playing God. We could soothe her though. Or we could say nothing and just like, the hell with you. And that's, then this staring moment is there for, I don't know why, I guess to let you think for a while. Well, yeah, you can just say, don't say anything. There's nothing more to be said. I agree. There we go. I made a choice. It wasn't easy, but I made it. Oh my god, this running speed. Is this where the ceiling's gonna fall on me? No. Is there a Valtiel? Is there a mister named Valtiel over there? Back away from the door. Check this door. One of them should be... That's definitely not worth it, whatever is in there, so I'm just gonna look around. Is there any supplies or... Nope, that guy's just there. I think I went the wrong way. Go to the other door. Woohoo! Okay, so that's where I would exit, okay? Check the map. She actually drew it for you. That's the door I need to unlock. Yeah, okay. Okay, this shouldn't be too hard, as George would put it, so, uh, woohoo, yeah, it's easier to dodge without the thing on, that's, that's very true, very true, Circo. So what awaits me here, is this where the missionary minions are gonna be? 
Is that a... Oh, that's a fucking insane cancer. Oh, God. Yeah, if I hate anything more than... The, it's two of them. Oh, shit, son. How do I not remember two insane cancers? How did I forget that? I should be weeping now. Is this a person? Not quite. Maybe. But I don't feel like pulling back the sheets to see. You know what? I'm gonna go against the uh, insane cancer with the... Um, with the katana. It worked well with the last one, so... I have three doors here, right? Yeah. Let's check door number one. It's broken. Of course it's broken. Why wouldn't it be? So... Oh, shit. I forgot to put the vest on. And it, I should be able to perpetually stun him if I do, do this right. And then overhead, if he goes for the other one. If he goes for the back... Okay, keep... Until he def deflates, it's there's no win. Oh, he's down already. That guy's dead. Okay. Let's get the other one. That was a good insane cancer battle. Okay. Let's hope I'm as good on the other one as well. Yeah, that one's only blocked by the overhead swing. From what I... Oh, no. I think I killed him. Nice! Redeem for all the fuck-ups from later. Eh, take that. Eh. Okay, rest, Heather. You you earned it. You weren't hurt at all, I think. I think they didn't touch me. That's the... That's how I want to do it. Do it now. There's a wheelchair here. With that stretcher back there, it's almost like a hospital. God, I hate hospitals. Not that I like churches much either. So where do we go first? Left or right? I'm gonna go the opposite of my luck. Yeah! I'm glad I went the opposite. Okay, so this is Claudia's room, right? Should be a diary here. The shelves are covered with file folders and boring books. There's no use useful information here as far as I can tell. Okay, what about here? Handgun bullets, handgun bullets. Glad I checked that. Take it. Cassette tape. And... What do we have here? There's a bunch of papers in this file. I get the feeling that it's a handwritten copy of some book. Represents the deity known as the Halo of the Sun. In heraldry symbolizes a religious group. The two outer circles are charity and resurrection. The three inner circles are present, past and the future. Usually drawn in red, occasionally drawn in black or other colors, but blue reverses the meaning into a curse of God and is therefore forbidden. Okay, so we just draw a blue mark of Samael and uh, we won, I guess. Oh, the angles. Oh my God, the angles in this game. Just pure perfection. Nothing else here, I think, yeah. Get out. She's running now too fast. I can't get accustomed to this. Am I alone in here? Hello? Mr. Valtio? Oh yeah, I gotta find those steps. See that? She went behind, I guess. Just plain old wheelchair. Do I want to go further? Not for now. Let's go into the secret room. There's a picture here of an angel flying into the heavens. Nothing special. I get the feeling there's something behind this picture, though. That girl's cries and footsteps disappear beyond it, after all. Will you move the picture of the angel? Why is that a, a question? Oh, that's, that doesn't sound good. Okay, they're not here, so... This covered with a sheet. Nope, I won't even peek. Can, he, can they get out of there? I hope not. 
Oh, they're just trapped there in the tunnel. There's some symbolism there, I'm sure. Not anyone. Not even anyone. In okay. Hopefully they don't come out of those holes. Yeah, I'm gonna check the other end. Fuck it. I know this goes where we're supposed to go, so... I wonder where the other end goes. The other end! If it's... Even openable. What the hell? Oh, it's a save point. This circle means reincarnation. That's what I what it said on that paper back there. So death isn't the end. Pretty good deal, if you ask me. Thanks to reincarnation, I died as Alessa, but I'm still living as myself. But you know, just the thought of it is starting to turn my stomach. And it makes sense why it's the save symbol, because you reincarnate every time you load your save. Saint Jennifer, unwavering faith under death's blade. Okay. Over here we have we have more, more saints, no? Saint Nicholas, miraculous hands, the doctor of God. And over here in this corner we have Saint Alessa, mother of God, daughter of God, father of God, uncle of God. She was everything. This picture, that's me. I'm holding the baby. And, and I'm the baby being held. That me that wanted death and disappeared with God 17 years ago. And the me here and now that sought life. Yeah, pretty much. You nailed it. Nailed it on the head. Just like your father nailed the God you give birth to. Ha ha ha. Okay. So, uh, nothing else. Let's keep on going. Where's that other door? Wait. There's nothing else there, right? Just a lot of empty space for nothing. Ooh. Are those numbers? Anything means anything? No. Yeah, I don't know how to dodge these assholes, so... I think there's one over there. Do they go for the meat at all? I have so many questions. You know what? I'm gonna put this on. Not really. I don't know how I dodge them. Ah, he has a longer blade. Okay, that's not good. I'm gonna die. Whoo wee that was close. Uh, shotgun to the face, someone said once. And I said, why the hell not, sir? Oh god, that was close. Okay, full health now. Switch to the shotgun. I actually should have shells. Why am I saving the ammo? Why am I such a... Uh, Scrooge. Nine. I will kill the god with katana anyways. Fuck you. Yeah, that's what you get. Fucking with me, boy. You and your brethren. Does this elevator work? Oh, it works. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot... I don't know if it... Well, actually, let's... Yeah, I'm gonna check the upper floor first. I remember there was the elevator. Didn't expect it to be here so soon, but uh, why complain now? There's gonna be a lot of shit behind each door. So oh, good, that one's broken. Okay, broken. Okay, sure. That one's not broken. Oh, that one is. Okay. Uh, that one's also broken. Well, this one surely isn't broken. Forgot to do that, and to do that. <gasps> library! Library scene! Probably my favorite scene from the game. Silent Hill's ancient gods, a study of their etymology and evolution. What a mouthful. There she is again. Why is she... Did they, did she, did she live before, or did they just like, oh yeah, that's Alessa, let's just draw her in our Bible. <laughs> Job done. There is no religion that has remained unchanged from the moment it was founded. This is no exception. 
Okay, so they didn't. When this religion fell into the hands of immigrants, it was deeply influenced by their own original Christian beliefs. For example, the traditional representatives of these primal gods may be given their names and descriptions of Christian angels. Thus, shared characteristics begin to appear. There is also one rare example of the chief deity, creator of paradise, or lord of serpents and reeds, being dubbed with a demon's name. Of course, this was not done by believers, but by their opponents. So, uh, I think that's Samael, or was it Samael, the angel, or the, the demon? And there was the other one. Metatron? No, that's the seal of Metatron. And Samael is the god, I think, yeah. Yep. Yep. And over here, we have another book. There's a book on Tarot here. Tarot was based on the 22, oh, this doesn't have to be British, but why not? 22 Hebrew consonants and said to represent the entire world. Thank you, thank you for staying, John. I really appreciate it. Really makes me happy. And thanks for bringing the folks over here. Also, big thanks for that. Uh, have a good sleep time, whatever time it is there, sleep afternoon, and rest well for another day. This would be day three of your six days. So, yeah. Keep it up, buddy. I'm going to do some magic here. I know, and you're genuine about it. Thank you. Each card, numbered 0 to 21, has a particular meaning. By reading these cards, fortune tellers predict the future. For example, the first card, the magician, signifies creation, wisdom, beginnings, or destruction and fraud. The second card, the high priestess, denotes intuition, harmony, faith, or dogmatism and arrogance. According to some texts, the gardener deck had more than 22 cards. The garden deck does not exist today. It is mentioned only in, liter in the literature. It is said that these extra cards were based on lost Hebrew vowels, denoted another worldly, transcendental existence, i.e. God. Yeah, sure. These books look real, look like real mind-benders. Think I'll leave them alone for now. Yeah, okay, two heavy books. Are they, Heather? I'm running with like a pansy again, damn it. Got on pansy myself. So there's a card here. Moon tart card. Oh, that triggers Vincent. Yeah, I should have read it first, but it's okay. Best cutscene in the game, in my opinion. Just because of that. That first time, what he says, and who knows knows, who doesn't, will hear. It got me. I was like, oh, hiya, Heather. Oh, hiya, Heather. I'm about to... Rock your world. Yo uh -huh. make me sound like some kind of unwanted pest. Well, aren't you? Well, who are you anyway? Haven't you realized that yet? Ah. Uh. Yeah, you're on Claudia's side. I told you not to put me in the same category as that mad woman. Well, you're pretty loony yourself. <laughs> loony. in the same God. But I'm quite sane. Oh, sure. Totally. So why did you help me out then? Was that also part of trying to resurrect God? It's not no. common for people to worship the same God and still disagree. God? Are you sure you don't mean devil? Whichever you like. El Diablo. The point is that now I really I am now. No, I wasn't before, but now I really am. God to be born wouldn't be convenient. She's gonna ruin my business, kid. She much too unpredictable. So you've been using me to stop Claudia? Is that it? Do you complain? Do your own dirty work. My dirty work. He's Carter's cousin. I'm telling you. Because the script says so. Like you two. Besides, I always <laughs> getting all hot, sweaty, 
Why that pause? That just made... It would have been a nice sentence if he didn't pause between hot and sweaty. Here we go. You're the worst person in this room. You come here and enjoy spilling their blood. Stand still, microphone. And listening to them cry out. Cry you feel out excited and feel. when you step on them and snuff out their lives. Mm. He's laughing so creepily. Ooh. I'm on your side. <laughs> what a douche. He looks. He's. I know he's supposed to be smiling, but he looks like. By the way, Hello. I, I love you. Did you get the seal of Metatron? What's that? You don't have it. Leonard was carrying it. You mean this thing? Oh, that's the seal of Metatron. Then the other thing is the seal of Samael, after all. As long as we have that. Or the sacred halo. We. As long as we have that. Yeah, sure. I got a book. Well, it is a library. And he's just walking through it, just like going through the whole uh, demonic possessed church and just like, <laughs> Otherworld laws. There are laws in Otherworld? Okay, let's read this first. Sheet of paper, but it's blank. Oh, yeah, okay. Harry wasn't there. It's going to be later. Silly me. Okay, let's read the book he gave us. So we got the. Uh, Oh, we have two cards already. Moon Tarot card. Found this in the archives. I don't think it's an especially good card. The Moon. And then we have Eye of Night Tarot card. Found this in the chapel. Is this a real Tarot card, though? Yep, that's number 22. That's your old forgotten deck. Book, Otherworld Laws. A big old book I got from Vincent in the archives. Yes, I did. Seal of Metatron. Metatron? Met Metatron. It's Metatron. Metatron. Metatron? Metatron. Well, now you're confusing me. Is it Metatron or Metatron? Metatron? Sounds like a metric ton. Sasha! Is his name Metatron or Metatron? You don't know? You know. Bo bo by both, yeah. <laughs> The magic square with strong protective and dispelling properties is called uh, Virun 7 or Virun V Crest or the seal of Metraton. It will bring results regardless of whether the target is good or evil. Its strength, therefore, places a very high burden on the caster. As it is also difficult to control, it is not usually used. So it's like a BFG 10,000, 10k? This is why it bears the name Metraton, after the angel Metatron. Oh, there we go. Or Metraton, also known as the angel of God. There we go. Yeah, you were right. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's this one. Yeah. And, but it was misspelled somehow in, in Silent Hill 1, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, that too. I remember there was a misspelling. Cassette tape. There's no label, but the tab's been removed. It might be worth checking out. Sure. Well, let's go out there and hope our, we don't get our butts kicked in. Wait, no supplies? Like, she's looking over there. There must be. Oh. I'm gonna check just to be sure one of these sh hard to see shelves doesn't have any potions. Because I really fucked up this run with regarding health. I don't think I did this bad my first time I ever played uh, Sun Hill 3. I was trying to. Kill a lot of things with the katana. So unnecessary. Okay, let's go down. Going down. Okay. So where to first? Let's start from this door. Sure, why not? Oh, there's nothing here. Cool. 
just fucking brainstorm and fire. Not gonna comment on that, no? Bloody walls either, no? Okay. Wait, we're back. This is kind of repeating. Oh god, more labyrinths. There's a small door here. Shouldn't go too far. <gasps> oh god, that's the lighting. I love the lighting in this game. Look at that, the color. It's just like when you start, when you wake up from the dream and you can... The sounds of the cars passing by and that lighting. Oh, I love it. Let's check out Dad's room. Can't even turn the light on. What did we find here? Stun gun batteries. Should I use the stun gun? You know what? I'm gonna try. This room looks just like Dad's. It's more than just a resemblance. Dad's not sleeping in the bed, though. He's not sleeping ever, sweetie. Read it. There's a musty diary on the bed. Why well, I wanted to say bread. This writing. Is this Dad's diary? Why would it be here? I sometimes have the sense that's not Harry. Even now that that girl is a reincarnation of Alessa. I don't worry about it much now. It's all forgiven. You were unloved, Cheryl. Or was that Alessa? Now Cheryl is Alessa again. No matter whose reincarnation she may have been, that girl was my most beloved treasure. But that name was a mistake. At the time, I thought of her only as a replacement for my lost Cheryl. When she knows the truth, truth will she feel bad? That's what worries me. That's not the... Thanks, Dad. So I was Alessa after all. But I do have just a trace of one more memory left. I haven't forgotten my sweet and gentle mother. Oh, she hadn't. Okay. No, we don't need that anymore. We read it. I just wanted to see if you have any comments. Nothing happens when I turn to turn off the TV or the VCR. The VCR. It's not working. I don't know why I like this voice. I guess John's hermit reminded me of it. And now I sound a little Canadian. Apologize to all the Canadians for that voice. None of the books catches my eye. Although the bookshelves and books are all the same as Dad's. Ah. Okay. Uh, through the door. Oh, it's broken. So we come here just for the diary and the tapes. Is there anything else? No? I'm not gonna comment on blood or anything. The lighting is perfect though, so... Uh, so, that's good. What is this? Ah! Okay, that scared me. And hurt me a lot. Hurt me more, snake. Okay. Ooh. I heard the radio. Why did I not react to that? Why is it so much harder than Sam Hill to finish him? There's another one. Oh, he can't see me because it's dark. Fuck yeah! Shotgun to the face. Can't defend that bitch. Cool. Okay. That was a good jump. They got a jump on me, I will admit. God! No full health. But it should be good. So don't melee those guys. You'll lose a ton of health. Got it. Where was I going next? Next I was going there. That's right. Oh yeah, that looks perfectly friendly. Why did I come here again? A corpse wrapped in some vinyl, vinyl type bag. This crazy mixed up world has got me used to the strangest things. Easy for me to say, they're still totally disgusting. I feel like I'm gonna go crazy myself sooner or later. I might even already be crazy. Who knows? No more comments? Yes, for all the shells I used. Doors open. Inside there's someone wrapped in a bag. Maybe? No, they're definitely dead. <laughs> good one, Heather. Good one. What about this guy? You don't like him? Wait, where is she looking at? The corpse? Or is there something on the corpse? Oh, there it is. Another card. Hanged man. It always bugs me that it's hanged man, not hung man. Hung man. There's nothing important here. I haven't looked too closely though. I don't think I want to. Well, I want to. That's a, that. Yeah, that's a covered person. Okay. So, kind of looks like the morgue thingy James was in in the prison, but she's not looking anywhere except for the door. Okay. Nothing here left, I guess. 
I'll keep the thing on because I don't know where they will spawn exactly so just want to make sure I'm okay I know there will be a lot of pendulums here later I remember that much that door is completely barred that door ain't going nowhere that lock is broken that lock works Shit, yeah, those are the pendulums. Just run in the darkness, ignore them. They can't hurt you if you. <gasps> but that guy can hurt you badly. So uh, the vest is on, the shotgun's loaded. Come at me, bro. Fuck yeah, you missed, bitch. Ow! They didn't miss, though. Uh, let's try and ignore them for now. They might forget about me. I hear something. I don't know what awaits here. Oh, broken, of course. Gonna... Oh, that's Valtiel. What are you doing? Why are you dipping that nurse, Valtiel? And why are you defying gravity, Valtiel? I have so many questions for you, Valtiel. Valtiel! What the fuck are you doing to the woman? <laughs> He's playing with her. You sick bastard, you. Oh, get out of here. Okay. Not disturbing at all. Oh, there's my room. There's my old room. And there's another do note for dad, from dad. And there's a save point. I know, it wasn't me. Alessa wrote this a long time ago. That chapel al chapel altar. It wasn't the it wasn't that one beautiful chapel. It was some other altar somewhere else. What did I just witness? What did I just witness? I got a brass key. I got a brass key. Now, there should be a lot of stuff in this room. Yeah. That's what I was looking for when I was doing the Sound Hill 1 stream a couple of weeks ago. I was like, where are the cards? Where are the comments? Well, they're in this game. They are playing cards on the floor. I used to play a lot. I remember little Claudia always had a hard time winning. That made her cry. <laughs> no, not the cards. Uh, the poster. Hmm. This is some sort of landscape. Where is it from again? Well, it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Disappointing. Book. Read the book. Read the book. No. Well, check the flowers. No. I mean, but butterflies. That's her notebook from Sun Hill One. Yep. Drawing block with Daddy drawn in it. This is my sketchbook from 17 years ago. On the front cover, here is a picture of Dad. Really awful work. What's this doing here? Ooh, thanks for the YouTube subscribes, Dennis and Betsy. Appreciate it. I don't know where my hand should go. Here, everything's mirrored, like here. Thank you. What is this? The door sure, the door sure does rattle, but it's stuck tight. A secret is hidden out. Of you out of your sight. You may be thinking, what could it be? You'll need five magic cards if you want to see. What to do then with all these? I'll tell you straight and I won't tease. Just as long as you say please. Now the first thing you must know is that there's something in each row. But that is not the half of it. Three would be too hard to fit. The upside down man under the ground to his right to his left, there's no one around. Leave him alone, though. His tears are profound. The moon is up above the sky. Full or crescent, floating high. Twinkling lights sit like a crown on the head of a crazy clown. Okay. Your Excellency, praying to God, most high. Do you think you can tell me why? You always look up at the night sky. Do you have it now? You didn't forget one major point you must not omit. And now, at the last, before you take a whack, here's one more hint to help you help keep you on track. Scary and hateful, the thing in the night, 
Better be careful. It's not on your right. Turn to the left and you'll keep it in sight. Okay, nice puzzle. So I'll open the door. So you'll open the door. I'm just sure there'll be nothing beyond it but frightening peril. Forget about that. Just stay and play. Or else I'll be left here alone all day. Whoo! Okay. So I got at least half of that. We'll do it later when we have all the pieces. The scribblings on the floor here... The scribbling on the floor here is Alessa's. For some reason, she always drew monsters like this when she was alone. She used to draw with Claudia, too. A nice daddy and mommy and a fun school. A happy world where everyone smiled and laughed all day long. In short, everything we never had. My clothes from when I was seven, they don't fit me now. Good thing, too. The scribbling on the floor is Alessis, okay, and this. There are shelves jammed with books. The top shelf has books on religious teachings and textbooks, serious stuff. The other two shelves are full of fairy tale books like Oz and Alice. Here's Mother Goose and Cinderella. I used to love these. Why wouldn't you? You were a child. Oh, poor Alessa. This is a closet. It's meaningless to me. <laughs> I don't have time to wax. The wax nostalgic over old clothes. Okay. It's locked. Just a picture, okay. And finally, Dad's scribblings. Let's read that. Hmm, a memo book. Something's written inside. She's just beyond this door. I don't know how, but I can sense it. But she's not the only one there. I sense the presence of something extremely dangerous, even sickening. Or maybe what they call God. Nevertheless, I will open the door. Enough of this idle chit-chat. God I'm not, but I'm fully intent to save her. No, them. Last entry was written some 17 years ago. Looks like Dad wrote this too. Yeah, some 17 years ago. They never tell us the dates. I mean, I talked about this already, but yeah, they never mentioned dates in these Silent Hill games. So, uh, that asshole maybe. Was that all the. No, it's not. Okay. Are they chasing me? They're chasing me from behind, aren't they? Oh no, it just felt ill, okay. And okay, now is the time to run faster, actually. Was there? I'm gonna be brave. I may get fucked up, but I need to run. And she does not run with that thing on. Yeah, okay, that's done. Nothing there. Nothing here. They're gonna crawl out of this. I kind of remember that. More footsteps. There's Valtiel as well. Uh, turning the valve, and uh, I guess that's supposed to be kind of because of the uniform. I keep thinking that's Alessa slash Heather there, or Alessa and Claudia, or something. And I do know that if you die in some locations, he will like draw you in front of the screen, uh, drag you, draw you, because his job is to make sure you give birth to God, right? And uh, can have no god if we have no birth mother so I guess that's the point he kind of draws you back in I'm gonna comment on those no okay we're almost done that's it I can't believe I actually the hospital took more than this I can't believe that let's follow those tracks oh love
Oh, she turned on the light on her own. Okay. If you think so, Heather. And the hospital room. This is also where... In... Uh, looks like there's some kind of drug here. But there's just a name on the label. No description or anything. It's too risky. Never mind. Uh, in Silent Hill 1, again, I expect a lot more comments. I forgot that they're, they're in this game. No, okay. She's going to talk about the uh, bed, though, I'm sure. 24 years ago, Ma Dahlia, doesn't Dahlia have an H in it? I'm not sure. Used me to summon God. God was in my womb, but I couldn't deliver her. Then I was shut up here in this hospital room. I stayed here until Dad helped me out when I was 14. God ate away at me from within, driving me mad with suffering. There I was, wishing I could just die and be done with it. But I went on living that nightmare for seven years. Looking at this bed just reminds me of those awful days. And I don't want to be, uh, I don't want to remember them. That's because I'm not Alessa anymore. But Alessa is still me. I'm really not trying to deny it or anything. Profound thoughts. I just don't want to remember. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Did she just break the fourth wall there? Like, player, get me out of here. There's a picture here, but it's not my style at all. Well, nothing's your style, Heather, from what we've seen so far. It's a picture of me when I was seven. I look bored and sad. Well, of course I do. I, it was, I was always like that back then. And finally... Yes! Too few ampules this, this playthrough. I don't know. Did I miss some? Shouldn't have. It's time to lead. There's something stuck in this book. Aglaophoris. I got the full tar tarot card. This book. Hmm. I feel like I have, I have to read it, but at the same time, I don't want to. So one of the biggest hints, actually the biggest hint for what to do at the end. So technically, I keep saying the game has three endings. Technically it has four. One of them is just give birth to God. <laughs> it's an ending as well. It's game over, but it's counted as an ending. And I believe they did it because they just they were too stingy with endings in SH3, probably rushed or whatever. It's the it has the least endings of all Silent Hills. So Aglaophorus. That's the thing that we sprayed on Sybil in uh, Silent Hill 1. That's the drugs. Uh or or actually the drugs that uh, Harry finds uh Kaufman was peddling around town. Um they're one of the main ingredients of the of the aglophotis or the other way around. I think it's the other way around. The drugs are the aglophotis. But yeah, it's big spoilers, that's what she's carrying around her neck. Yeah. But we're going to find out anyway. Red liquid. Oh yeah, that's also... I think it's also used in Silent Hill 2 for the rebirth ending. Not sure. It's been a while since I did that. Red liquid or crystals resemb resembling blood. Blood. According to the Kabbalah, the name is taken from an herb with the power to dispel evil spirits. It is said to grow in Arabian deserts. It may be vaporized or applied as a poultice to guard against demons. It is powerful, but as it is rare, it is extremely difficult to obtain. There, you read it. Oh, you, you got the card. Yeah, we got the card. Okay. So, uh, the card... Uh, This was in my old room, in a hospital room. What did this one mean again? The fool, number zero. And what? which one didn't we read? Oh yeah, the hanged man? This was in that mortgage place. I should have four. I have the night, fool, moon. Yeah, this one. Such a beautiful card. And we checked the moon, right? Yeah. Alrighty, let's see, out, there might be assholes, see I told you, they'll be here, because they're assholes, so I can just run to the right, that's two insane cancers, those guys just pop up, they don't even ask, Okay, I can deal with them. 
with uh, this and uh, gotta make sure yeah okay I actually don't have to fight him at all as soon as he falls I'm out of here Yeah, I lied. Ah, that one didn't stun. Okay, I could have escaped with my life, but I chose to fight. Because I suck. At least one of them is dead. Deflate, motherfucker. Deflate! That was so unnecessary. I shouldn't have done it. But, here we are. What's my supply status? I got some bullets. I got a lot of bullets. I think I get a special costume or something if I kill God with melee. With four... Oh God, the health is so bad. With four ampules, I should be good. Because it keeps regening, but you never know. So bad with health, this one. Oops, oops. No, no, thank you. No, bye. There we go. That wasn't so hard. I still hear the radio. So... So, wait, there's more over there? Oh, that's Alessa's room. Okay, so let's go all the way back, Morty. All the fucking way back to the beginning, where I need to pick up one last thing and listen to the tape. So, uh... Yeah, there was another door there. Wait, to the right? To the right, and then... Pendulums? There's gonna be pendulums, isn't there? Oh shit, you asshole. Should have just ran. That's the wrong hallway. Yeah, I'm gonna get stung. Get me through? Yeah, yep, okay. I'll take that. Rather than fighting the asshole. Okay, should be safe here. Hey, I didn't check the last door. Was it the last door? Yeah. That slow run. Broken. Okay. Just, I think that's the last thing. Just finish the tarot cards. I just missed one and we can go kill us a god. Or give birth to it. Either one works for this game. What is that down there? Scary shit, that's what it is. Fuck that. I should be there. Yes. So now just left and then left. Wait. Oh, I'm not. Left, then right, through the door, and then. Okay. I said left, right? Right, yeah, left, then right, then through the door, then. Around and around again. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, shit, okay. Nailed it? <gasps> it's bleeding. The walls are bleeding. Okay, uh, do I need to check the key? I want to check it, kind of, to see if it says something. Oh, yeah, this too. Okay, yeah. Model for my old room key. More labyrinth. Oh joy! Yeah, they will come out here, so get ready. Put the thing on and uh, get the shotgun ready. I firmly believe they will jump out of here. Let's check the doors. So one right here, next one at the end, then two across, then one at the end. Okay. Never enter a room with lights. Okay, this is a safe. That's where we're gonna find the scribblings too, isn't it? It's a handout with our classroom resolutions written on it. Hmm, doesn't say anything about abandoning your friends or scribbling on the desks. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Midwich. 
This is it. That's what I've been looking for. Oh. Go home. Drop dead. Thief. Hmm. This used to be a lesson. I mean, this was my desk once upon a time in America. Oh, this is going to talk about Gordon. There's a ratty old no notebook on the podium. <clears throat> Oops, and there's a letter stuck in here too. Let's see. There's a girl named Alessa in my class. If your memory is any good, you may remember her. She's the one I said they called a witch. Most likely her mother is abusing her. I've never seen her come in without some sort of scrape or bruise. Her expression is pitifully dark for a 60-year-old. Something like this may not be so uncommon. Rather than coming up with pointless ideas, it's best just to watch and wait. But isn't there something I can do to help? I'm considering consulting a lawyer, but I do have my reservations. That's why I thought I'd ask you, my friend, for your opinion first. Kay Gordon. She was her teacher, so we do... We do... I think we enter... Yeah, we do enter her house in, uh, in Sun Hill 1. Oh god, with this thing already. Okay. Oh yeah, we can go around him. That's nice. I'm glad we got that opportunity. There's the cassette room. So we can check this as well. What are these? Letters? No, maybe a bunch of suggestions? People are starting to voice their dissatisfaction about Father Vincent using the organization's money for his own personal benefit. I've also heard rumors that Father Vincent has been extorting donations from some followers. Is he really the right person for such a position? I'm in no place to deny all he's done to make the organization grow. Even though we believe in God, if there were some sort of gathering, shouldn't we be valued not for our limited talents, but our talkativeness, or our talkativeness, but for the depth of our faith? L.S. Leonard? Leonard? Claudia Wolf. No, L.S. Who's L.S.? Anonymous letters? Did you shush her, Vincent? Did you shush the woman? I'm just assuming it's a woman who wrote these. There are a bunch of books here. Nothing looks particularly interesting. Okay, sure. There's also a tape recorder. Looks pretty usable. I'm gonna have to sort that. Here we go. about what happened here 17 years ago. You've been here a long time. You must have heard some details. A group of pagans, blinded by earthly desires, spit in the very face of God. They tried to use the seal of Metatron to prevent God's awakening. But God drove the unbelievers away and threw them into the abyss. But due to their wickedness, God was unable to be born properly. And so, she has slumbered ever since in the womb of the Holy Mother until the time of the awakening. That's all that I know. That's it, huh? Well... Father Vincent, I heard that the Holy Mother has been found. Ah, that's how you found out. Alessa has been found? Did Claudia say that? Yes. Gonna fuck up his plans. Then it must be true. Her sight rarely fails her. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. But I could never be like her. I wouldn't want to. Nor I. Unbelieve us. Sister Claudia frightens me a little. Well, now, let's both show our faith by forgetting about this little talk. That's how mobs start. Yeah, that's how mobs start. Mafias. Yeah. Does that mean this land will finally be the home of eternal paradise? Hmm, I could go for some paradise. My sister, if God wills it. Paradise.
God's wills it. Well, we're not gonna let her will anything, honestly. So many doors. Shit, 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 shit. Oh shit, they're fast. Yeah, he was, he was right. Circle was totally right. I should just run and dodge. Shit, shit, shit. Where's the door? Is that the door? That's not the door. Where is the fucking door? So was there a point to that? A giant room filled with those guys. What's the point? I'm still missing a card, so... Right? If I fretted over every damn thing, I would have serious mental overload. This is gonna be fucky, because I'll need health, and maybe I should run without the thing on. Oh, wait, there's another door. That's the last door, okay? There's the last card. That's what I'm looking for. High Priestess. High Priestess. I is there anything in that room? Sirico, are you still there? Should I, like, risk my neck for that room or not? Hanged Man. Didn't this card mean something like genuine belief for the High Priestess? Just like her. <laughs> the room I just passed, I'm going to show you now. Um, the one that's full of tiny little missionaries. Uh, you can't point here. So the room just kind of behind her, a big one. It's full of tiny missionaries and I'm not sure if there's something in there. But I'm afraid I'm going to get Hoyt. The name Claudia Wolf is written very small on the cover. Looks like this is her diary. Oh, so many diaries. Um, November 10th. She didn't die then, she was born. I knew that for a fact. But then why haven't I found her yet? They were supposed to need her power to build paradise for the... What haven't I? Huh, for the happiness of the people. She was supposed to be reborn for that. I'd really like to see her. November 14th. Read the Book of Praise. I want to thank Father for lending me such an invaluable book. I found what I'd been searching for in there. How to awaken God. But it's much too cruel. Yet, I think... Silent Hill 3 is full of pointless rooms. They are just there to hold enemies that you might want to kill for a worse ending to get the points. I don't know, I can't find any other uh, any other purpose for those rooms. And that one is full of tiny missionaries, like swimming with them. So no, I'm just even if there's something there, I believe we'd lose more than, to gain, than we gain. But it's much too cruel. Will I be able to pull it off when I see her? November 16. I was free all day, so I read A Modern History of Refugees and Young Slaves, Child Exploitation. I don't want to be a mere bystander in this world. I can't do anything now, now though, and that's what's hard. She was, she was so brainwashed. Poor woman. Hello, zombie. Hi, zombie. How are you? Nice to see you. We're almost done. Uh, busy night at work, I guess. There's an old birthday card on the desk, so she was still hanging on to this. Happy birthday to little Claudia. Happy sixth birthday. I love you as if you were my real sister. Here's to you. And that's it. That was Claudia's room, I guess. Just a candle. Yeah, I know when you're not there, some shit must be going down. So aside from the... So this room here, when I enter, it's full of tiny missionaries. I believe... I believe there's nothing there. There's also another pointless room there. In the, oh, that one maybe wasn't pointless, huh? Sure, Sirico, do your thing. Thanks for being here. Zombie, do you remember this room, if it's pointless or if it holds some valuable supplies? Fuck that guy. I'm just gonna go through this room, right? What was it again? Uh, take the take the thing off. Also take the shotgun off. Why not? Oh, it's the classroom. Yeah, there's nothing here. 
Yeah, zombie, we found it. Remember when I talked about Alessa's desk in Silent Hill 1? I found uh, several things that I looked for in Silent Hill 1. It brings back memories, but not a very pleasant one. Yeah, she doesn't want to see it again, but that's her that desk. When she examine it, examines it, it looks crazy. Now we have all the cards. We need to go back. Back in time. Two. So right, then right in the hallway, then through the scary... Yeah, I can do this. I, I got this. Blood on the walls, blood on the... Can I go back? Apparently yes. Though there's nothing there. Alrighty. Oh. Ow, 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 they're gonna kill me. Okay, I did not expect that. Shit, so much health wasted. Why, God? I have just one more and two more, but I do have four ampules. Is there gonna be more health before I escape this nightmare? Or am I doomed to be fucked forever? What should I do? Is there a save point after her room? I honestly don't remember. We'll see. There's that save point, so... Uh... Oh yeah, there's a save point in her room. What am I saying? That's the last save point. In her room! It's all gurgling and burgling. Yeah, I have the last card, so it's kind of pissed. The level is pissed at me. So once you go down the elevator, me, you shall go around the corner, second to last door. Around the corner, last door. All the way to the end, and that's it. And then we solve a puzzle. Oof, that's scary. Then we solve a puzzle and uh, kill that pesky god guy. Oh, they're gone. That's beautiful. Second to last. <laughs> when I turn on my light, the lower light disappears. Oh, no you won't. I know what you want to do. You want to take the little health I have. Well, fuck you. Oh, wow, that worked. I can't believe it. There we go. What is that? Did you hear that? Oh, just the loading. So what did I say here? Yeah, all the way to the end. It's time. It's time to do the final puzzle. So let's read that file again and let's check those cards. We have Eye of the Night. That's the scary thing, I think. Yep. We have Fool. Which is silly. It looks up. I remember that something had to do with it. We have Z Moon. We have the Hanged Man. He's underground. We have the High Priestess. Okay, yeah. Then file. I have it here actually. Where is it? Sketchbook. That's it. I could have just turned around and read it. Okay. There's something in each row, but there's no, never three of them in, each, in a row. Okay. Hangman is under the ground. There's nothing left or right. That's okay. The moon is up. 
full or crescent floating high. So middle, twinkling light sits like a crown on the head of a crazy clown. So jester goes there, but also, praying to God, Mosai, do you tell me why you always look up in the night sky? It's not on your right. Okay, I kind of get it. Wait, use. So we do know that hanged man, he goes there. So he goes there. Then we know that the scary thing goes on the left. We do know the moon goes up as well. I'm going to say here. Then high priestess here and full there no ah can i just move it then like this maybe uh what did i miss there's nothing to the left or right of it. Maybe that's the trick. Huh. So the moon? Oh, maybe he goes below this thing, actually. And then she goes there. It just said, yeah, no, it said the moon sits on his head, so. But does on her left mean the opposite side? Hmm. I did that one already, didn't I? Yeah, she wouldn't tell me. Well, she, she should tell me when I do it right, right? So, him there, and she should be then. I thought I did that. That was my first idea. Okay, it worked. There you go. And time to save. We're gonna. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to kill God with the um, with katana. I don't promise I'll make it, but I have all this ammo now for nothing. Wow. Could have used it. Didn't. No use crying now. So um, katana. If I remember, it's just a lot of patience. I know I did it before. I should be okay. Okay, off to the final boss room, with only four saves. Good enough, and one death, again. <laughs> Just cursed, can't get a silent hill without a death. Hello, God. Not scary at all. There's a huge fan here, I can't get through. Oh, everything is like blurry and weird. It's time. Two of you to die, that would be nice. 
so open. <laughs> Man speaks, speaks the truth. We are home. My home. My Get out. The power of money that you view with such scorn. Although I admit that this atrocious scenery is all yours. If you continue to get in my way, then you'll kill me. Well. <laughs> Jump scared. Oh, thank you, Master. Thank you. Stabbed him in the back, literally. What a bitch. <laughs> no, I haven't for you. Sorry, Claudia. I have a lot of comments on this, but I'm skipping them. Yeah, I remembered what I wanted to say. God damn it, I remembered now. At least she's fair <laughs> after everything. I was gonna say before when they talked, we should hook her up with uh, Seymour from FF10. They have like the same ambition and uh, motives, but I forgot it. And now there's no one there to hear me. Oh yeah, him too. You feel so guilty about it. Why don't you go to hell? Heather, use the seal. Vincent? Don't help me, Heather, or anything. The seal of Metatron? Now your stupid dream is over. Oh. 
pieces of junk. What do you think you can do with that? Do you really think it can kill God? I'm sorry to see you fell for my father's foolishness. What? Red Halo, that's the... You're pathetic. That's the save seal's name. And this one is the seal of metatron. You suck even at killing someone. Go home, Claudia. Just fucking go home. <laughs> that was the that was the shittiest stabbing of a person on screen ever. Ever. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, bitch. Come here. Here we go. Ooh, I'm getting all red. With godness. Bruh. Oh, cancelled. <laughs> Go. Ah. Uh. And this is where you can get the oh the controller, the other ending. You try to kill her or anything. Uh, the 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 secret ending, the the lazy ending. You will just give birth to God and game over. But we're not doing that today. We're using Dad's charm. Dad's charm. Can't use that here. Yep. But where's the charm? Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Dad gave me this pendant on my birthday. It's one of my treasured belongings. There's a red jewel inside like a little red tablet. When I asked Dad what it was, he said just a lucky charm. But then he told me to take good care of it and never take it off. I wonder why I feel sick. Why I feel sick inside when I look at it. So he basically made an Aglophotis, Aglophotis tablet for her to be used. And we use it now. We've been carrying it the whole game. You, you're given clues, but it's not like never straightforward said. Ooh. That's what he saved Sybil with in the first Silent Hill. Bleh, your god. Now, with all the monsters and everything, the most disgusting scene in all of Silent Hill is coming now. Well, God's kind of tiny. You're not aware of what that is? Looks like God didn't make it. Ah. Uh. The dedication of this woman. Gotta applaud her for that at least. Vanessa, you cannot kill God. You wanna bet? <laughs> you can't just decide to do that. 
So there's a there's a question of can and can't and won't, and I'm pretty sure Alessa doesn't want to do it. It's time. She's not gonna even fall in gracefully, she's gonna be gobbled up. So she bled on it, and God's basically there. Why is there a hole in that altar anyway? Oh, Valtiel gobbled her up. Wow. And he sounded like a wild cat. Okay, I remember God had some heavy swings, so I should be careful. Oh yeah, gotta remember the controller. Okay, it's time. Deep breath, let's try not to fuck it up. Should be okay. That's what I remember, yep. Yeah. And there's Valtiel doing his job. Kind of. Godlessa. Thanks, zombie. I'm gonna try to kill her just with katana. I'm gonna try that. If it fails, I'll... I won't try it. <laughs> I remember I did that as a kid on the hard mode, so should be okay on normal. No, that's his brother, dog. Okay, we need her to poke her head out. And I need to be doing this. Oh shit, why did I run into that? Okay. I'll remember it, no worries. And then when she like does that, then... Just a punch, I can take that. I know there's a distance you can stand where she can get you. Now is the time for those ampules I've been saving up. There we go. Yep, good as new. Screw you, Godzi. Run. She can insta kill you here, I think. There will be a lot of fire, though, I remember that. Shit, 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 shit. No, it didn't go. Ah! It did go my way, okay. Gotta be careful around her fiery. Oh! Bitch slap me, will you? I think if I'm close enough, she'll just use the head, yeah. I should be alive for this, yeah. Come on. Who, already? You think I'll be able to do this? I believe I will. Okay, this time I'll use just this and this. And then take one hit. I did take a fire hit as well, though, so... Oh boy! Come on, Godzi, you can do it! Woohoo! She gonna come down now? Yep, there we go. 
So one hit and look at the health. I don't remember her HP, but it shouldn't be too high. Yeah, it's time for the ampules. Just three ampules, you can do this. Ampules. Smack her in the face with the katana, yeah. Oh. God damn it. Literally. Okay, you can still do this. Just watch what she's doing. She has fire. Okay. Don't burn, that's right. And then again, she's gonna do it from the other side, right? Yep. Woohoo! Two fires. Oh, that's not good. Okay, yeah, you can do that. You can do this. You can do this. If she whacks you, you shouldn't be dead. Okay, one whack. Another ampule. I don't even know if this is good or bad. Just fucking use it. She's dead anyway in a second. Come on, I know you're gonna die soon. Come on. Come on. Yes! Oh, if only I could see her high HP, that would be sweet. That's very bad. Can I take another one? Is that bad? You know what, fuck it. I'll go for another. Come on, die, God. Still alive, though? Yep. Really? Okay, she is the final boss though. Or it's gonna start on the other side. Come on, die. Yeah! Yes! Fuck yeah! With the last health and everything. And kill her with the katana. That's a special weapon. Infinite submachine gun or fairy throw or something. I don't remember very well, but I remember it was a thing. That was good. Despite everything. I had a bunch of ammo. Could have saved health, but decided to save ammo. We're done. We're done. You can start Silent Hill. In three days. Oh, Sun Hill 4. Oh, yes. Screw you, gang. Yeah. With Joe Romerso and... Romerso and... Uh, and Mary Elizabeth. No, just Joe. Just Joe in this song. Still amazing. And it hits her. I can rest the controller hand now. Oof. For a second there I thought she's gonna finish me after that last ample. Yeah, I never understood what this means. Why turn again? Like why? She alive again? What happened? Should be the good ending, unless I fucked up. Everything should return to normal as well. Yep.
Hello, Dougie. That was horrible. Just horrible, Heather. You've got terrible I'm sorry. Thank you, zombie. Thank you. Thank you for being here for the end. You have to call me that. I'm not hiding anymore. You want me to use your real name? What was it again? Cheryl. Cheryl Mason. Mm-hmm. I think that's the cutest moment in the entire game from her. Okay. We're gonna see the credits and then see what we unlocked. It should give us some passwords for costumes and shit. Again, it's been a long time. I'm just like pulling this out of my memory. Hey Gary, thanks for rating. Appreciate it, bro. We're just at the end credits, though. <laughs> uh, welcome, welcome, one and all. Great for the, uh, great for the, for the song, though. Bon appetit, Gary. Thanks again, man. Bon appetit, my man. So yeah, we did get the good ending. Um, killing God with Katana must have brought some ki some kind of a... Yeah. Yes, it is. Uh, killing God with Katana, I'm sure it's either in, uh, we're gonna get uh, infinite submachine gun or infinite flamethrower, one of those. Um, what else? It's gonna give us points. Like how much... Depending on the points, you get different costumes and different bonus weapons. Thanks for the follow, Von Kondersmith. Might Von Von Kondersmith. Von Kondersmith. Oh, you must be some kind of royalty, sir. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Okay. Okay. What did I? I must have missed something. If I only had four ampoules. Then it can be that there's only four ampoules in the game. So that and... Uh, and for the next time, we're gonna shoot more. Though I did say that next run will be hard difficulty and hard puzzle. I might go back on that and just do hard puzzle. Because just Silent Hill 3 on hard is... I think the furthest I've gone with this game as a kid was Extreme 2 or something like that. Because after hard you unlock Extreme 1, Extreme 2, uh, up until Extreme 10. Was it 10 of them or 6? I think it was 10. I got to Extreme 2, I think. And that's where my patience just gave up. Because it does require patience and it does require you to play this game over and over and it's not the kind of game it's definitely not Sun Hill 2 I can do that Shattered Memories even definitely Homecoming yeah but Sun Hill 3 I don't know man it's just yeah I said many times I do like 4 more than 3 but it's also one of those that I do not want to repeat because you do repeat that game once as you play it already like you play it and then you play it again to get to the end I get it why they did it but a lot of people didn't like that. And yeah, it's kind of cheap. I'm not sure if they wedged the story to to be able to, you know, reuse the same areas. Or did they have wedged the areas to reuse the story? I don't know. On the other hand, with Silent Hill 3, as I say, is I don't like the, the three endings. And the um, there's something like the score. story just skips at some point. I don't know. And... But the, the, the gameplay, the 
The atmosphere is killer. I just, especially a few areas. Yeah. And Joe sings. I think she even, she voiced Angela too, right? Donna Burke. Original Angela, not the HD bastard. Donna Burke, I'm pretty sure. The dismal moon. Where? Yeah, I'm a little different from the but was she in Sun Hill 2? Yeah, she was Angela in Sun Hill 2, yep. Here we go. Sounds like McGee, lots of jobber on her back. You mean lots of roles? But yeah, she is kind of like, like, well, not Mary, Mar Mary Elizabeth too, but who else? Uh, we did mention Booker DeVitt, Snow Villiers, Troy. Huh, that's a brain blank. Okay, so. Memory of Alessa took... God took less than Memory of Alessa. Okay. So, that was good. That was not good. That definitely could have been better. I fumbled that. That was good. I swear to God, it can be faster. Memory of Alessa was bad. And this was... Okay. Five? Five saves? Ah, uh, because that one continue. That one that. Item number... Perfect. But did I get all the items? Huh. Enemies, 43 shooting, fighting, yeah. She did voice, but also lyrics, composed and arranged. Yeah, she did, uh, she did a lot. Yeah, that's it, okay. Extra new game has been added to start screen. Play from there to see and enjoy extra features. Starting from new game will begin a new game without the extra features. You fulfill the conditions for a hidden weapon beam saber. Also hidden weapon unlimited submachine gun. Extra costume has been added to the start screen. If you select this and enter the password you can get a new costume. You got the extra costume password. Happy birthday. So just happy birthday. Ah. Thanks for the follow on scene 420. Thank you. No one's in scene during tour 420, but I will believe you. Thank you. Thank you. Systems. Dot, dot, blah. System data savings completed. Do you wish to save play results and rate? Yeah. Why not? It always goes to slot two, traditionally. Even though, scientifically speaking, traditions are an idiot thing. I don't care. Results. There we go. There we go. So if I unlock the costume now, does it stay unlocked? We're about to find out. Uh, extra costume. No keyboard here. Well, does the, does the keyboard work? Like for Outbreak? No. You've got to use the Enigma machine from World War II. Happy... A bur, 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 birthday day to you. Happy birthday, dear Heather. Heather shirt, that's it. Yep, it saves. Okay, unlocked one costume. Nice, 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 nice. Alrighty, that's it. We did it. I can't believe I thought I'm gonna not gonna finish it tonight, but I did. Thank you all for watching. Thanks for the wonderful raids, for all the support. Thank you, Zombie, for being here, even though you probably had to like fight two Dobermans to get to your streaming phone or whatever at work. Um, tomorrow, what's tomorrow? Wednesday. Tomorrow evening, we're doing some. Uh, we're doing resistance this time. Well, the time that when this stream was. Um, 
Then Thursday we're gonna have Gears of War 3 and Outbreak File 1 hopefully works so we can continue George story. If not, we'll do the next in line for File 2, which would be Alyssa, I think. And then Friday we got Silent Hill 4. Yeah, getting on to that. So thank you all. It's been a wonderful stream. Uh, I wish you a wonderful day, evening, or afternoon. Bye everyone. Till next time. <laughs>